They were very close to the setup. They're getting straight. Okay. Three, two, one, go! 
All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, if anyone's in chat would let me know if the audio levels and everything are okay. But otherwise, welcome to the second edition of Feedback at June. We're running a little ahead of schedule just because of Big and Chance next week. In our first game, we've got Ninhon taking the first game over to Harko. I can change the future. Oh, it's fine. Thank you very much. All right, so this is our eighth and ninth seed. Uh, at the, from the first game, it looks like typical Shulk living forever with his shield art and everything and just uh, walling out Link. Even though he's got the projectiles and everything to try and get in, he's actually someone that can keep him out with that big, silly laser sword. Oh, oh good. Apparently, Taco. Which button? Ah, oh, sick! So we've had some slight technical difficulties that have held him back in game one, which is super unfortunate. Cheers. Start the battle. So hopefully we can get used to these things again. A more successful game two. Oh, we had what was the score? Okay, so um, Ninhon just two stocks. Taco? Yeah. Um, basically, like, Taco uh, was winning a lot of the neutral interactions and getting a lot of damage on, but Ninhon, uh, Shield Art Shulk, living to about 190, uh -huh. really hindered him. I see. Um, managed to rack up too much damage and just uh, tank his way to victory. Though, uh, according to Taco, his L button was not working that game. Mm. So, depending on what button that actually is for him and how important that is, that can be a massive difference. So I haven't, I haven't, uh, I've played Ninhon a couple times. Yeah. Uh, well, say three times now. Um, second two times he's sort of drastically changed up his game plan. He plays extremely patiently. Yes. He just sort of waits for you to come. I actually, I, I thought, uh, I figured Taco should be able to do a pretty good job because he's got a really good neutral with his wing and just being able to gate him out because he doesn't even have to approach him. Mm. You'd think so. Um, but no, I think. I think especially with uh, Ninhon living so late on that first stock, he did get a bit impatient. Um, that didn't kill. No, the shield art ended just in time for him to... Oh, sorry, smash art ended just in time for him to live. So that one, I believe, makes him the lightest character in the game. Ooh, excellent. So he's taking that stock much earlier this time. Pressure off the edge. Yeah, no, excellent pressure. Um, it's something that Link really excels at. He just has a lot of hitboxes that he can throw out. Oh, that floor yeah. out stage is so impressive. Like, he kept his jump and everything, but, uh... See, I'm just curious, I'm curious to see how it goes, because I know in this match, like, Ninhon plays a very patient shell, mm. but in this matchup, um, I think Shell definitely wants to, like, use his speed mode to jump over, like, you know, get in and get a bunch of hits. Yeah, I agree entirely. Um, speed is definitely going to be his way in. Unfortunately, speed has, um, a negative multiplier on damage, mm. so you actually deal a lot less during speed mode and to compensate for the amount of combos that you get out of it, uh, which can be kind of annoying. Yeah. Oh, good up the out of shield from Ninhon there. Just not interested in the pressure at all. Up the out of shield in shield. In shield mode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jump the other one. Uh, the amount of air speed you get in jump mode is absolutely insane. So, yeah, another really useful one for getting in it. Like, people assume, oh yeah, it's Buster until kill percent, but it's actually definitely a lot more complicated than that to manage Shulk's arts. Ooh, really greedy up the out of shield from Taka. I think he was expecting a bit more, a bit more of an approach than Inhon would usually do. Yeah, you gotta be careful of that. He's trying to pull the bomb off stage every time, or yeah, yeah. too dangerous against Shulk. Oh, uh, and here comes damage. He got hit exactly two times, and he's at 34. Oh, oh shield mode. Oh. That, was that was a great upbeat yeah, catch. Yeah, robbed. <laughs> Ooh, good down there. Caught him off guard on his way out of shield there. Ooh, great upbeat. Well done. Okay, so we got a pretty even game. It's just about how quickly uh, he can rack up his damage and kill him and hopefully not live, let him live to plus 150 again. Yeah. I reckon he's good. I reckon he's got this if he just plays. He's, oh, focus in. Ooh, good recovery. Play out the neutral. Watch out for the offstage. Oh. Yeah, I think that's exactly it. Um, uh, too slow on the punish there. Yeah. 
definitely a different option for sure. Yeah. Went high that time, really smart. Intelligent. <laughs> Wave dash behind him, that's so cheeky. Ooh, good pull out the spot dodge. Yeah, Link has some really good lingering hitboxes that will actually be, or sometimes they're just slow so they catch spot dodges, which is actually really handy. Oh, Ooh, great bomb. I don't know if he's got a jump. He does not. Oh, oh I carry that just extra enough. Extra bit of mobility on the up B. Yeah. Oh, he's got it. Another good up B, and he's dead. Okay, excellent. We've got a game three in our hands. Got a bit greedy there with some up. Like he was definitely fishing for some up Bs, but it didn't matter. He got the. Yeah, he got there eventually. Got the Link up B out of shield. I mean, both these characters up B out of shield. Incredibly strong. Mm. Uh, but yeah, that one really pulling ahead for Nick. He uh, managed to get two kills, at relatively good percents. Oh, and ah oh, yes, of course. Going back once again. Start the battle. Oh, I think got my game. Your game yeah. might be ready soon. Yeah. They're, After this set, you can go. Down. Yeah. Okay. I'll stand for that. Yeah, yeah. You, we always prioritize having two on guard. Yeah. So. Yeah. Alright, so I didn't quite catch what stage they had. To Ooh, they're running it back again. Back. Okay, all three games on this. They're obviously both pretty happy with the shape of the stage, how it works for them. Ooh, yeah, good arrow right. for the tech phase. Most sorties, I guess, tend to prefer their platforms, and Nin definitely doesn't like to go to them. Yeah, no, I'm quite sure uh, the last time I played him, he opted for FD Yeah. Um, for his counter picks. So, yeah, it must be just. It might be just a. Result of his um, online practice. I know that's how he primarily does uh, practice is with quick play. So, yeah. and you find that with a lot of people who, yeah, primarily practice online, is they just want to stick to the flat stages. They don't know too much about character specific or whatever. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's kind of got to do with the way he sort of um, his game plan. I know obviously Nick's going to want the flat shoot. stages because it puts so much more pressure on him to approach. Yeah, it him. makes he his plan. He can only jump over the projectiles if he's going to get higher. Yeah, that's right. But then he's also got on this stage. Oh my Ooh, goodness, he falls catch. right into up smash, up smash killing Link, a heavy boy. <laughs> <laughs> 84 after the hit. That is... What a ridiculous character. Good catch. Wow, 33. Yeah, this character's he's got some, nuts. He's got some dumb stuff with that. Just like, okay. what is it, down tilt into forward tilt or something like that? That was down throw into forward tilt okay. and it did 33. Oh, he's, oh, gone, he's gone, gone again. Nasty. Okay. Yeah, that's the ever-present threat with Shul. Yeah, so Ninhan just seems to be run off forward air immediately on every edge guard. Great F smash to catch the landing. Um, it should so yeah, go low for sure, yeah. Yeah, well, Nick went high above it a couple times and Ninhon was still going for it, but he doesn't seem to have changed the game plan for Nick's adaptation. Like, he's not readapting. Um, I like to refer to it as a no mix up mix up. Because, mm. <laughs> you know, the smart players will expect, okay. He's going to do something different because that's not working anymore. Yeah. So I can go low again. And then you don't go low. <laughs> trouble here. You cover low. Yeah. Oh, he's got him. Oh, he's yeah, got him. He's that B. Oh, uh, yeah, he's done. GG. All right. Good set between the two. So that's what the other option is to catch the high recovery with that B. <sighs> so Kills strong. Kills. <laughs> yep. All right. All right, I'll go uh, find my game. Yup. Okay, you're playing Muscat, if you want to. Uh. Okay. Hey. Um... You. Yeah, Peter, go play. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. So our next set coming up: Dogfort and Muscat.
must get one of our highest ranking melee players, likes to enter Smash Ultimate occasionally. Does alright with his uh, fundamentals alone, really. Oh, hello! Thank you joining us on the mic. Um, Dark Fortress, conversely. Hello, hello. One of our rising talents new to this game and consistently doing quite well with Ridley. Yes. Usually. So we're expecting to see Inkling from Musket. That's his uh, usual main here, basically because he's... Fair enough. They're similar enough in game plan to Melee Fox that that's how okay. that's who he's sort of comfortable and gravitated towards because it's a lot of you know strong areas up throw combos. Depending on which um, which matchup you're more comfortable with in the moment, I would put between the two swords. The Palutena is not ready. Okay. All right. So you catch what stage you went to? Nope. Okay, that's perfectly <laughs> fine. It's not that important. Yep. Down. Okay. I know this is a really comfortable pick for Dogfoot in particular because he likes to push with Plasma Breath from afar and um, do a bit of dash and forth. He likes to, having space to move around because really doesn't have the greatest frame data in the world to be able to oppress a lot of the time. It's a good stage for Inkling as well. Run away and charge in. Yeah, that's also true. Um, Inkling has the capacity to camp if they so choose with this yeah. stage's length. And, you know, space to recharge their ink and that sort of thing. So it sort of makes sense that this is a stage they've struck to. I would have assumed that Dogfoot would want a small stage though. But Inkling frame data would press the crap out of him on a small yeah. stage. Like he would have nowhere to run. He would have nowhere to run. Yeah. Oh, he had the read on the roll in. Just a bit early on the trigger. All right, typical up throw combos. Those work forever on Ridley, so it's a real danger for him to be inked up and getting grabbed at all. Ooh, good point. I'm not sure about the rollers. Though. Yeah, up that high. The rollers are a bit ambitious, aren't they? Yeah. Like, because I think at that height they don't even bury, right? Yeah. Like if they're hitting the top of the model. Yeah. You have to be basically grounded to be. Buried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Inkling has to be on the ground. Oh my goodness, the Seppi just whiffs entirely from that height. Silly short character. Yeah. Big there is not big enough. Yeah. Alright. Oh, interesting sprinkling off stage to sort of pressure the ledge. So really not really able to do a whole lot to cover Inkling recovery because it's just so good. Say that. Absolutely, never mind. <laughs> he has the perfect tool to cover Inkling Recovery. I wonder if he could have made that back by using the roller. He probably could have. That, that could have yeah. been a bit of unfamiliarity with his own character in uh, this Possibly. instance. Fireball going straight through the sprinkling. Very clever. Oh, jeez. Tries to extend the combo. We got a bit of back and forth. Good punish. Didn't panic. But he seems to be getting grabbed very consistently. So I wonder if Dogfort needs to be doing less shielding and a bit more offense. Very that's vicious. that's a bit <laughs> cheeky. I did not know about that. And Musket is reading his side B's from the ledge. So I know that's a big favorite of Dogfort's is to um, try and catch people, because people like to shield at the ledge a lot of the time, right? Yeah. So come on, grab. Smart move. It is very laggy if it's red, though. Musket's not having a bar of it. And taking another quick lead. Continuing his jabs on the shield. I don't know about that. I mean, it fall, he fell for it, but always a risky play. And here we go. Ridley versus Inkling advantage is, I imagine, a bit of a nightmare. A Ridley indeed. He's not got a lot of options, and I'm pretty sure the window for that is, like, that's a pretty fake combo on a lot of good characters, but on a lot of bad characters, it just so happens that that works very consistently. Yeah. Also, Musket 
again, I'm familiar with this character you're not meant to up smash any character over 100 weight. Yeah. Because the initial hit doesn't pop him out of the ground, so it's not... Then Rid Ridley's big enough for it not to matter anyway. He's just yeah, big but to hit, but he, he was at high <laughs> enough. He was at high enough damage that yeah. it worked anyway. But um, or is Ridley just big enough to get hit by the up smash anyway? Because even grounded, he's huge. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still. Su I'm still surprised. I've seen that just. Yeah, I guess yeah. it is the size thing because I've seen it just completately with Inkling. Yeah. Uh, sorry, not Inkling. Um, Inkling completely with Yoshi being grounded with up smash because it doesn't pick him up. Yeah. Always too heavy. All right, we've seen the wolf counter pick, as predicted by Jacko in the chat. Um, not a character he practices a lot of the time, but not one you necessarily have to. Yeah, he's big play pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, he's just sort of, I'm going to use my big hitboxes and good frames and, and oppress. Like, he's a very fundamentalist character. You just sort of press the buttons and it sort of works. Ooh, I actually like that up smash trying to catch a landing because that move is so like weirdly disjointed. It'll pick up a lot of people doing anything ag like aggressive on the landing. Stop the back air. A strong hit with a kill for sure, even center stage. Oh, what's the punish? Good DI, not dying to that too early. Alright, so he seems to be racking up damage very quickly and consistently in the switch now. Oh, he's got it! Just do it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just land aggressively sometimes. Who cares? It's fine. Yeah. Okay. I got ledge traps. Neutral get up shield seems to be a common option for a dogfort here. He seems to be getting caught a lot of the time. Ooh, good recovery again. Ah, landing aggressively. Okay, he, he made it back to stage only to be sent off again. But he cannot be killed. 190 is not a percent you want to see on Wolf. Like, that's a yeah. character that can rack up damage so effectively. And, you know, especially with Bossy on the defensive if he has the lead, that you do not want to let him live for too long. Yeah. That's a problem Inkling will have in this matchup, since she kills pretty late most of the time. Yeah, a lot, a lot pretty, of the time. Pretty standard. Yeah? If you don't get the roller, yeah. 190, 200. If you miss your up throw up air and you don't yeah. get... If you can't find a roller, then yeah, you're going to struggle. Back airs at like 180, 190 is your best option. Oof. To be fair, that move is very easy to land. That is an absolutely silly move. I am amazed that grab whiff. That is so silly. Grabs suck in this game so bad. Ooh, continue to shield pressure. Caught him jumping. Straight in. Another aggressive landing. Nah, not the percent. I know uh, even on like fast fallers and stuff, that window is actually quite small. Yeah. It's only like the big fatties, like Ridley for instance, where it's actually pretty uh, easy to land. Ooh, caught his jump. Good ledge trap. Let's do it again. Yes. There. That would have worked if he did it earlier. <laughs> Inkling duck dodging that Nair entirely, and he's dead. He's been edge guard. Alright. Uh, let's see if Dogfoot will actually be able to find this kill. Oh no, he's run straight into jabs. This is where you get steamrolled. Won't kill yet. Oh, great fair. Really. Excellent catch. Oh, not going for any combos. That's an interesting choice. He can get a uh, down throw dash attack for a clean 25%. That reflection not useful against this flat bomb. That's so unfortunate. Alright. Must get missing his text a lot of the time. Wolf can really do a lot for a tech chase. 
Oh, good lasers. Nice. Caught him shielding too often. I mean, Dogfoot is suitably scared of the roller at this sort of percent, so I understand why he's shielding so much, but he is getting grabbed awfully often. Oh, this is his back air on landing. Anything will kill from Inkling at this sort of percent, surely. <laughs> Maybe not up to it. <laughs> I take it back. Just one of these people. I mean, oh, down throw, surely. Nah, uh, down throw probably wouldn't have done it either. Down throw? I don't Bad think. Bad DI, maybe, but. Ah, uh, Wolf is not that way. He doesn't know. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I should have chased him. Oh, he went for the F smash and just got caught too early. Muscat with a 2 0 over Dog 4. But Small upset on that one. Alright, I better go play a set. I might need to as well. Jacko, why aren't you here right now? This is it's very disappointing. Currently Blue doing some solo commentary. Uh, we're a little low on people today. Everyone's kind of uh, dashing back and forth between TOing and commentating and playing, so a little bit little bit up in the air, but yeah, it's, it's all good. Kai's bought his whole setup. We've got those production values going on right now, which is pretty neat. So this is Brad Taicho versus uh, Velveteen. The I was trying to think of I don't know, something to some joke involving me roller, but I, I got nothing. I know nothing about this character at all, which is like kind of cool. Let's learn together. I also don't know what Velveteen's Twitter is, but I think he has one. That's that's my fault. I can look it up, but I'm not going to because. Had a long day at work, and I am very tired. Dinner with the fam? What about dinner with the boys? Oh my god. Crazy. And Brad will probably be playing... Well, not probably. Brad will be playing Greninja. The young Velveteen will be playing... Me, Br me Brawler? Is there even a stock icon for Me Brawler? There is a... Kai has everything. Crazy. We will soon be through with stage bands and on to the main affair, Town City. Now, young Brad Taito actually has a, I'm not going to call it a significant amount of Me Brawler experience, but it's a hell of a lot more Me Brawler experience than everyone else in the state has considering he played Ghost Me Brawler in two sets at our most recent tournament, which was uh, UniSA. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe there's different flavors of Me Brawler. Maybe he's got different specials. I actually can't remember what this particular setup goes to use. I assume it's like most Me's in that there's like one or two good setups and everything else. Just kind of oh, mix the, switch the cameras. Switch the cameras, Patty. There we go. All right. Game one. And oh, you're right, Jacko. That's, that's my bad. Red's going to be fishing for a lot of low percent. Confirms off Nair and Downton and stuff like that. Me Brawl is going to be doing her best. Oh, that's okay. That, so that flip kick like spikes like zero suits. Learning as we go. Nair forward, a lot of damage. 
Uh, he kind of flip kicks away from the stage, but oh my god, that. I, I'm gonna, for Velveteen's sake, I'm gonna say that shield pack, because that was some nonsense. Yeah, if you get down to it by Greninja, just like. I don't know. Give up, I guess. You can roll away, it doesn't work. You can roll in, you can spot dodge, you're just gonna get down to it. Might as well. It's really a metaphor for the kind of. Ooh, okay, nice flip kick. Gets over the. Okay. Oh, and that's that's the much much vaulted, vaunted, vaunted, I want to say, command grab, which uh, Brett's going to need to look out for. Kind of like Ganondorf's a lot faster though, it seems. So, a good way to rack up damage. Although Velveteen might struggle to get the kill, depending on how he plays this. No real great throw setups, and it's going to be hit to, like hard to hit a character that's as mobile. Jacob, if you're out there, uh, we need you. Or you're DQ'd. You're probably not watching the stream. That would, that makes no sense. Probably stuck looking for Park. That's how it goes in this bitch of an earth. Oh my god, the counter's the late now and doesn't quite kill, but... If Brad maybe could have like, knocked him off stage there, I'm actually not sure. Maybe up was like, the best option. But Velveteen makes a pretty dicey recovery. Uh, he's back in stage control. Uh, ooh, grabs him out of the Shadow Sneak startup and F-Throw kills. So pretty good, like pretty good options there. Kind of getting back on stage and just really like clutching out that ledge trap. Now the positions are reversed. Uh, back off stage, yeet. Charge the shuriken. Flip kick in. A lot more punishable than zero six looks like. So. And I don't think that was near. I barely saw. I guess everything kills at that percent. But with a pretty solid stock lead right now. Kind of just fishing, fishing for some dash attacks right now. Uh, okay, flip kick works and catches the roll in with the F smash. It actually kind of comes surprisingly close to kill. It must be a pretty powerful move. I don't know how many frames it's active for though. That's that's a different matter altogether. He's getting a lot of mileage. Velveteen's getting a lot of mileage out of these flip kicks, but uh, he hasn't really put on all that much damage this stock. Nice, nice like uh, directional mix up there, flipping over him and kicking back. I think that's all he's got, actually. That's down to up smash, which isn't going to quite do it, but the next one will. Or down to it fair, or down to it up air. You know, just broken. Down to it fair. Ooh, yeah. I don't think there was any DI there that helped you. Maybe maybe up and in, possibly. He looked like he flew off the sides. Which, I mean, Greninja's just insanely broken. So that is game one. The bread. Ta Taicho. I keep calling Taicho Brad because he's Brad Taicho. That's what everyone calls him. But, you know, it's, I, I know top players. It's, it's, you know, it's whatever to me. I wish somebody would commentate with me, huh? Start the battle. I guess it's just me. <laughs> Game two. Three, I'm gonna play John. One, Sorry, no one cares about me. Go. Oh, nice, nice Omega pick. Uh, Omega? What are the Battlefield ones called again? Omega's the FD one. Doesn't matter. Nice, nice Battlefield pick. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Except for the cat. The cat's so annoying. Yeah, John's commentating with me. Woo! Brad just kind of running away with this one, like, right off the bat. It's not hard. It's what? Beat up with it's me. not hard to beat up. I mean, Greninja's broken. So, like, it's not that bad. He's not that good. He's a uh, uh, Yeah, that yeah. Have he just, he just low profiled side B. Yeah, that. Ac Whoa, it's, da it's down to an up smash. You know what? Yeah. I never actually keyed onto that so before. It's, now. It's it's He's literally did it gone. Literally seen it for years. Wow, shit. I never even thought about that. Yeah, you think it's impressive, and then you're like, oh, oh right. right. We, we have been dealing with this shit for years. We've been doing that for a while. We've been. Just pretend he's a bloody monkey with a cap. And, you know, you're all set. Yeah, you're all set. He's got, like, a little spammable projectile. He's like, yeah. He's got a busted recovery. I wow. Think we, um, he just literally did it come. We've got a bloody DQ stubby. Is he still not here? He's not uh, here yet. Well, we have to put him through losers at least. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That's, it's a bit late. Maybe, I, I reckon he's probably, like, got cucked by Parkin or something yeah. like that. But. Oh, it's not, Parkin's not that bad. No, no, I maybe not. Ooh, that's another down See, to I up don't smash. Think he, oh, my God. Because he did a down to up smash, like, below the platform. Oh. And I think they always take them. Mm. So instead, maybe you should like read that. Right. So what it, yeah, just like tech chase, you know? Yeah, yeah, right. Um, oh, nice, I mean, nice, like reverse inwards bear to like uh, combo there. Brad's, Brad's just clearly labbed all his combos. <laughs> he's clearly plays and the frog. He's clearly plays the frog. Yeah, ah, it's a missing put side B. Hell, let's do it.
Good evening, Smash community. This is your boy, Spicy. How's it going? We got a, uh, another lineup coming up right for you shortly. We've got John, uh, who goes by many names. I forget them already. What was he? Chrome Boy at some point versus Blue, previously known as uh, Sans or Patrick. So, hitting off the bands now, we saw, we've got John wearing his Bunnings uniform. He's looking great. Just gave me a bit of a kissy face. Hello, baby. Good to see you. Now, I barely know how to work this thing, so let's see if I can change some people's names we got. And I just dropped a pair of headphones. Three, two, one, go! That. I've changed the interface. I'm amazing. Okay, so we're into it. It looks like uh, this Diddy Kong is getting a bit of a handing to. And of course, I've I've entered in the wrong characters. I'm a Pringus. So John's the one playing Diddy, and it's looking pretty even so far. It looks like Blue's got the stage control. He's holding center rather nicely, but. Diddy can bully, Diddy can get in and use that, uh, can use that speed. Ooh, banana's out, Let's see what he does with it. So far it's neck and neck, I'd say they're hit for hit. It's just whoever gets this first stock, that's what we're waiting on. Got the sparks, but not yet a kill. Full DBZ moment, and looks like Lucina will be the Vegeta out of this Goku Vegeta matchup. Now, I'm not sure if John's main is in fact Diddy, but he is playing Diddy rather well, and his neutral is always strong. But he's been known to mess around with Ice Climbs at times. Beautiful up B out of shield that will take his first stock. But Battlefield, I feel, is really good for both these characters. They're both dancing around, like, and they, it seems to be more effortless than anything. Joined by my boy Taicho. Who's Spicy? Alright, what are we seeing so far? So Tell me far, about it. It seems to be neck and neck, having a bit of a dance around Battlefield, but as I said, that of course commentator's curse. We got John losing his second stock. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Now he'd taken the first originally, but. Oh, so John took the lead initially? Initially he had okay, the first stock. Um, yeah, so he's been telling me he's been enjoying the uh, newly improved Diddy Kong since right. the last match. He got pretty significant buffs to his combo game, damage output, like everything basically. Um, Excellent. They overhauled the character and now he's actually usable. We had our local previous Diddy main, uh, Smash 4 Diddy main, Jacko, who said originally he didn't like Diddy either until this patch. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. Um, Jacko has put him out a couple times since then. Basically, both the guys that played Diddy in the last game um, have gone back to him just for you know, familiarity and you're being usable again. Yeah, he seemed, he definitely seems more feasible this time around. Um, but while we say that, uh, Patrick Blue has seemed to ward him out pretty successfully, like tacking on a nice lead after taking the stock pretty early. Blue's stage control is always fantastic. He always keeps everyone off center. And that's yeah, that's exactly pretty much right. the objective. He, he's extremely proficient at ledge trapping most of the time. Um, he has fantastic reads. Yeah. Keep people off the center, exactly as you say. Now that up be out of shield, he had caught John with that previously. I don't know if it's going to work again. It probably will. Like, <laughs> that move is so good. It is fast as well. It's it's one of the fastest out of... Oh, catches the neutral get up with F smash. Raw what F -smash. timing. Beautiful. Incredible. I figured I'd do this all by myself. You proud of me? I am super Amazing. proud of you. Like, <laughs> need to explain to them. It's Kind of tricky. It, see, yeah, it's not too bad. I, th I don't know if chat noticed, but I was just like, ha, ah, and I was quiet for one moment. But <laughs> we're good now. We're here. Got the icons. All right. John's sticking to his guns here. That was actually a decently close game. He uh, racked up some good damage and 
city advantage, broken as always. That's it. Um, and he's taking it back to Battlefield as well. So he's obviously feeling confident with how the game went, just a few minor things that he wanted to change that's up. It. He must be feeling pretty good about this, Diddy, because he's been nice climbing main until now, hasn't he? Yes, that's exactly right. Um, he loves Ives Climbers. He thinks they're terrible. Uh, so he's kind of <laughs> looking for... He's been looking for a character to cover matchups. He doesn't like as Ives Climbers for a little while. He tried Wari, he tried Young Zeus. He's tried a few things. Yeah. Uh, but now that Diddy's good again, I can see him staying on this one for sure. Absolutely. He has had his character crisis in the oh, past. Oh, air dodge just off the ledge. That's the And into the fast fall. Yeah, that's it. That's the first stop gone for him. But that's never been one to... He's never been one to be disheartened by that, by an early stop loss. So we'll I, see if I sure back. hope not. The main thing is how well Patrick will take the more than anything. I don't think it's not going to be disheartened, but Patrick loves the lead. He does. Oh, great counter up. That's... That works again. Okay, that's good to know. About 34% extra credit off of that first stop. Not too bad, but not too bad made up. given the circumstances. And made up immediately with two quick Look at that. Goals. He just, he's racking up damage so effectively right now. He is. Was unable to shield grab the jab. So that's weird. Yeah, sometimes there is some janky stuff going on, but you think it should have grabbed, it just doesn't quite do it. Doesn't quite make it. No. <laughs> On his own banana. Poor guy. But in terms of counter picks, I think it's more than necessary in this game sometimes. Like, I just discovered that I cannot fight Ike. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought of an Ike anyway. Have no idea? Nope. It's, it's one you need to learn. It's yeah. definitely... Because you've got a simple game plan, but how you actually deal with it has to be... It's not obvious. Pretty precise. Yeah, yeah. it is quite precise. That's exactly right. But Lucina oh. making it back. That recovery is strong. Yep. I'll be out of shield again. Such a great option. Mm. And if it doesn't Ooh. get punished, keep doing it. Oh, absolutely. Ooh. Great back air. That was a real soft kind of back air, but whoop! There we go, Banana into Fair. Banana's yeah, pretty much bottom in this sense. <laughs> John's item usage has been actually really quite good. He's getting a lot out of it. Absolutely. I mean, as you kind of should, Banana's stupid good. Like, just the ability to trick people up is so useful. Some things never change, do they? Yeah, that's exactly right. They're they have to really try to make Diddy Kong a bad character because of Banana alone. Like, I think so. Nothing else has to work for him to be bad. That's exactly right. And speaking of good characters, Lucina's been pretty good from day one. I don't think she's yeah, well, honestly I gone they, down in the patches. They intended to nerf her and they weakened Forda and F Smash. So now Forda combos better than it used to. <laughs> so in weakening and F -Smash, it... And <laughs> F-Smash will still kill your 80. So, I don't know. They, it's a bit counterintuitive or counterproductive on that nerfing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, they stuffed that one up a little <laughs> bit. I'm not stoked about it. Let's make this combo better. But um, something I like doing is using Diddy's banana against him when you have the opportunity, but... Oh, absolutely. If you can take control of the banana, um, the game changes entirely. It removes all the power from him. Ooh. Another down to up smash. Doesn't kill this time, but the ice perfect. Sweet. Trace bits there, and he's got him. It's a DBZ moment, and I saw... I didn't see his percent, so I actually thought John might have died from that. I was like, no way. Almost really hot. But Always something you got to check first. Absolutely. <laughs> it's like, huh? But Wait, why? <laughs> Who is dying? <laughs> Who's dead? What? DBZ. But they had a DBZ in the first game as well, which was really cool. And that was that was a high percent one, so that was hot. Alright, okay, Patrick opting to switch up after that one. I mean, he had a good lead from mm. John's SD. And he, John still took that game quite solidly, I'd say. That wasn't a special. No. So I understand him thinking one, to change up. Perhaps. Ike is just going to kill a little bit earlier, which is fine. Aside from that, it might be pretty even. Uh, yeah. Uh, I imagine what Ike will do is he's just going to have a little bit more range and a little bit, a little bit more power. Absolutely. Um, I see what like, John's doing already, is he's bullying the shit out of Ike. Oh, oh, yeah, sports. He's bullying Ike <laughs> yeah, quite yeah, a bit, yeah. just to keep him from sending out any of those aerial hitboxes. And that's going to be the key difference for John. Um, Patrick has gone from a character with one of the best out of shield options in the game to a character with absolutely none. That's it. Uh, so he's going to be a lot more free to bully him. He's a lot more free to run in and just hit shield. That's it. And um, for a character like Diddy with a lot of decent buttons, he wants to be in his face. That's going to be really handy. And uh, meanwhile, Blue seems to be keeping his cool. Um, he's playing patiently, waiting for air dodges. Oh, goodness. Just... That's how he... Does that miss him? I, I think he thought he was off stage, but Maybe. he landed on the platform. 
so it was uh, unnecessary. But yeah, he may have thought maybe he um, went past through it. the platform. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, banana nice. F shield, perfect, perfect catch out of shield. That's it. Takes the power away from him. You get that potassium before he does. It's all in potassium. It's all in that potassium. All right. So Patrick getting his two-hit conversions. That's that's the icon game. Two hits at a time. That's it. Always two. Don't don't overreach. No. Not gonna overextend. Oh my goodness, he's just bearing across stage. D Good. Don't mind me, I'm just taking notes in this psych advice. Oh my god. <laughs> he's just bearing. That was just 9, 10, 11, John seems to be catching on to the pattern though. 13. <laughs> Fairs in a row. Will he throw a different move? Ah, dash attack, a new move. <laughs> and a fair. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and another fair. Um, That's, I mean, if it works. Something ooh. very no. Oh, gosh, so he strong. Into the zone. That uh, F tilt is. Oh, he did he jump up into that corner? I could see him. He had time to jump, so he's there. Oh, he's up me. Wow, 20%. Good amount of damage. Good amount of damage. Good amount of damage. Good amount of shield, too. <laughs> Let's see if John can take this second stock and even it back out. Great jabs. All right, it's on, John. Gone. It's on John's own to take the back now. And Patrick can play defensively. Patrick's throwing Wall that tree trunk. Ooh, Ooh. Right down there. It's a very good down air. This is his grab again. My god, did he just can't be grabbed? He has no hurt box. It no, he's exist. too small. But my, there it is. There up we are. There. He caught the fair that time, and he's got him. Up throw into up air. Oh, fair. <laughs> I'm sure what it was. Up air. All right. No sympathy for so me. that's Blue taking the set. Really? What I thought was going to be a troublesome counter pick from Blue actually turned out to be really effective. And he just he just kept his cool and just waited, and that's what I got to learn to do. Joined by my boy Blue. How do you feel after the set, man? John, he kind of got cheesed that last game. He got cheesed? Yeah. Ike's uh, dumb. Ike might as well be swinging some cheese did, around. Did you see how many point blank Ike grabs just completely with? Oh, we like, were talking uh, about he that. He literally has, and I think, like, I'm not even exaggerating, the worst standing grab, like, in the game. Diddy is so small as well. It's it just it has, like, no horizontal range, but it also has no vertical range. So apparently when Diddy Kong, like, squishes himself into the ground after four day, he can't be grabbed. I'm like, ah! It's it's mental. It was, it was pretty whack. It, it's the experience. Isn't then I it? hit him with like three moves and he died. So, um, uh, what do you do? Taichi was doing some fair counting before. <laughs> I, I don't know this guy's name. What's his name? This guy. Uh, th this is Ninhon. Ninhon. Uh, oh, uh, Ninhon. Young young Shulk prodigy. Cool. Played played like Mewtwo and Cloud in the last game. Now he's switching to like a real character. Nice. I've I've been out of town for quite a while. Is that you have no. My so I, I've what just about we don't? What about we don't commentate the game and just like rent? You know, just you just tell just us talk about stories, Italian man. stuff. That talk sounds about great. You come. Commentate in Italian. I'll commentate in English. Uh, we won't understand each other. Well, you'll understand me. What am I saying? Se voi potevo farlo. Like until about 8 p.m. I think. I don't know. <laughs> we could go into the late night bracket. It's just all in another language. Yes. I'll smash up late. All right, sir. So I think I kind of did it right. Hang on. I got this. Yeah, yeah, do you want to Oh, backslash on the stage. Big, Excellent. big balls, big ball play. Big ball plays. Big ball play. Does a cute 16 damage, and now he's, uh, you know, Ninon. I, I don't know much about Shulk, but like, you know, and except for Smash 4 stuff, but I love watching Shulk, just because like all the wacky stuff. You know. uh, when he's into the speed Menandos, and he's just fairy. And he just, zoom. it looks beautiful. It's, it's crazy. It's the character like, oh no, that's dead. Excellent. I think it's the first time I've seen Hydro Pump work. Yeah, yeah. For me, I it helps them recover. I feel Ninhon maybe could have drifted into stage and like tried to go low there. Because where he upbeat, there was like no chance of making it back. He might still have died, but it was like worth going for That's it. if he went low. I think it just sent him out as that like, extra little nudge. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, he's got really good horizontal, but like, I'm really good vertical, but terrible horizontal, unless he's got like smash up. True, true, true. Uh, is a, uh, what is it, Monado stacking? Is that a thing? Uh, well, how do you mean? I don't know, like, can't he have multiple Monados at the same time or something? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe in Xenoblade you can, I don't know. Maybe I was just looking at some weird memes. Maybe. <laughs> There's a lot of wacky, like, Monado tech, though. Um, yeah. What's your, t what's your Twitter? Uh, spicy, 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 green, spicy, green, spicy, green, spicy, green, spicy, green, spicy green. Yeah. yeah. 
You, nice. can, you can like buffer Menando Arts into other. Th I actually, I'm not even going to say anything because whatever I say, it's going to be wrong. Like, <laughs> except that you can do like wacky. Jump. It, but but it's not the wacky stuff is sadly not helping you boy Ninon right you now. You can see yeah. the future. He has a lightsaber that changes colors. There you go. <laughs> That's Xenoblade. Spoiler alert. So uh, Touch has figured out how to do this Greninja Nair so it's really safe. His spacing is immaculate. Uh, Ninon's like shook. <gasps> Pardon me. Looks for a lot of like landing aerials obviously but yeah. Greninja's kind of like landing forward air and air with shook are like huge but landing back air is like not going to connect. No. Because yeah, Greninja's Crouch is way too low. You've got to be like so precise. You see like that? He does it just went like right low. over his head. So he's going to like really struggle to secure a kill with that. Like forward air and F tilt and stuff will like get a kill. Oh, okay. <laughs> Prove me wrong. No, no, no. Prove me wrong. That, that was spaced air. really well. That was perfect. Exactly. He, he, he like Goldilocks did a bit. but no. Kudos and to him. And then he got a just right. Go Goldilocks? <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's a term I use. Like you see people like try to hit a confirm and they're like the first time they'll jump a little too high. The second time they'll jump a little too low. The third uh, time will be just, just right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was basically that. He was like attuning his, his uh, back air heights. I love it. But Brad's just looking for down to up smash right now. Maybe he doesn't connect because of like Buster Mode. I don't know how that affects him. Yeah, I have no clue. I know he takes more damage um, as well as giving out the damage. Oh, He's tech waiting shake. for nice it. Work. Beautiful. I think Brad, t uh, Ninhon tried to switch to shield out there, which you can do. Uh, I don't know the specifics. Yourself. Yeah, yeah. If you're quick enough, like you can switch to shield out while you're getting hit by the up smash, and you and that way he'll live to like 300 percent or something. That's amazing. Something utterly ridiculous. Like I've seen that happen. This isn't my phone. Is this your phone? That's not my phone. What's phone is this? I just tried to unlock it with my finger. Did it come like, out of your pocket? Heck? Where did you get this? Uh, is it, well, that's Peter's, isn't it? Uh, oh, is that this One Piece stuff? Does he like One Piece? So is Jacko's phone, but he's I really just sort of clearly not here. No, I don't think he is. This is a scream. Peter! Oh, it's base. probably it's probably Brad's. Probably uh, Brad's. Probably Brad's. Oh, actually, he was the last person yeah, in the comps. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the deductive reason. There we there. go. We've, we've figured it out. So we're starting it off, doing a bit of footsies, chucking some projectiles. Shoot, 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 shoot the shot. No, no art switch off the bat. Okay, there we go. There we go, Zoom Boy. There we go. So it seems Nian Han doesn't quite know what to do about the shuriken, or he's just playing safe around them, which is completely cool. Chucking out those aerials, keeping it safe. Brad, Brad's clearly quite happy just like waiting out Ninhon's approach. Like that that whole first 20 seconds, he just he's like you know choose an art doesn't matter. Especially sh like speed art, you know, he's just kind of waiting on the other side of the stage. It's that trademark cool under fire that Taito. That's known for. A, another nice hydro pump usage. Yeah, he's he's actually figured out how to use it rather well. I think I don't know if it's changed much, but for me, it's just not connecting. I'd, it comes with free play, I think. I once. maybe. Yeah. Oh, on quick play, it's probably impossible because oh. you got to time it like pretty pretty well. Yeah. So I, I meant free play friendlies. Is what they call it. Right. <laughs> it's clean, they call oh, it free play. Okay. Okay. It's okay. stupid. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking for that down tilt. Just a bit of a fox trot up, fox trot back, roll yes. behind. Brad has done nothing but. Oh, he does, he's a madman. Got it. Man. Good on that's your sick. Hook. That's like that's crazy. And now it's gonna run out soon. But he's like. He's bought himself another, like another lease on life, I and if he, can, if he can like live until he gets shield mode back, then like he he oh no oh bad bad smash switch. Well, when that shield Menando came out, I just saw Taicho's face crack into a smile. He's <laughs> like, oh my goodness, Excellent oh whoa, death smash. Were, was that in a Menando art? I, I didn't see. I or was that just playing? It was. Shield? It looked Vanilla like smash. Shield. Chat, help us out here. Was yeah, that I didn't smash Menando? That killed really early. It so did. Great, great, like kind of equalizer by Ninhon. Ninhon is adapting, he is. Ooh, yeah. So he's, he's switching into the shield art now, like, yeah, before while he's getting up smashed. Didn't quite work out there because he just fell out and got hit by Jabba anyway, but, like... Uh, Taicho's throwing out some safe fares just to rack on that damage, do a bit of poking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there seems to be Brad's game plan right now. Uh, Taicho, sorry, I should, yeah, I should say Taicho. Uh, he's just, yeah, la landing fares, landing nares, try to get him to the that... Matt, like, oh, he got the drag down, or was that shield? Uh, I, it was smash It was smash -out. Thank you, thank you, Doc Euphoria. Your boy. Oof, banning fair. Quite a nice down throw smash. Oh, down throw into the the risky smash play. Like, if he cops down to up smash here, he will die 100. percent Absolutely. Well, I think it is worth doing on the ledge because you can. Ooh. Oh, was that dash attack to up smash? Uh, was it? No, he would have been set high. That was definitely down tilt. Yeah, uh, so da dash nowadays. down smash. Actually, you're totally right. They have a very similar animation. Yeah. Swipe. They're doing a bit of a chop. 
So, ooh, okay, trying to read a roll behind there, which is actually like not a bad choice by Ninon because you know, the ninjas love to roll behind, but Brad is just like playing it pretty safe. Nice parry. Brad is going for that extra credit assignment now. That's yes. all that's happening. He's, he's playing it safe. He's not going to do anything silly by the looks of things. Per perfectly happy to just stick with the basics and Absolutely. You know, rack up damage slowly but steadily. Stick with what he knows can confirm or what he knows can't be punished yeah. too easily. I'm not so sure about Ninon using a shield art at that percent because now he's almost at. Oh, nice, nice smash forward. Delete this boy. Yeah, yeah. He just he just like zoomed. He did. I, I didn't even see a Gone. body. There's no body left. Oh. Okay. D doesn't get the right guy, but doesn't die anyway. I think that's been buffed since Smash Four. It hits a bit harder, but it's not quite at the percent yet. Well, you see, Grenade is getting like two or th like three or four into each other, which I don't remember happening all that much in Smash Four. No. Now it's it's basically DLC. I've heard people say Grenade drop out. Ooh, Absolutely. A little low on the forward over Brad, but that one, okay. Trust Brad us. waiting it out, waiting out yeah, the air dodges. Smart. Okay, the next, the next one's going to connect. That's my oh, okay, and that, oh, okay. Oh, he almost did. That's like commenta that's a commentator curse, yeah. commentator blessing, I guess you could call it. That was amazing. Yeah. That. I'm like, yeah, he undershot He undershot the first like dash tag forwarder, he overshot the second one, and then like he's, he's, he's zooming in. Could but. someone, could someone clip that? Clip that, oh my bro. God. That was amazing. He got the fear. I don't know if I, can, I don't know if I can do that impression. No, no, you got it, man. Are you sure? No, yeah. I, not not literally. Oh, you am mean I like capable? Of it? Like, am I allowed? To? Ah, of course. I don't, I don't think. I don't, I don't know, man. As a ethnic person, I give you consent. <laughs> Thanks, <dude. laughs> but I think it is it is uh, <laughs> it's a stereotypical. Uh, I want to say Lebanese accent. Mm. I'm gonna keep it esports here, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Italians talk like this as well, so it's fine if you have a VO Commodore. But, um, yeah, it's a me, uh, it's spicy Greninja. <laughs> He's a me, a spicy. It's me, uh, spicy. <laughs> we got the Greninja winning. On the, I e love to see. Itali Italiani talk, don't, don't ah, want si, to si, talk si, like si, this. Si. Um, it's a bit uh, difficult. Mario is a racist. Uh, he's, oh, not, uh, uh, he's not yeah. igual. He's not Eto igual. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, so that is the set off the side show. That. That's, I, I'd, I'd really like listening to that. I don't know, man. That's, that's some real shit. I'm going to play Brad. <laughs> He has to play a bread that I chose, Nina Honi. Nina Honi, he played very well. This is the first, first time Brad and I have ever played in this game, apparently. Is it first set? Is it public? Yeah. I think I must play eight Boy. of us. <gasps> it, oh are we on the stream? Me, you, me, me uh, and, and you, a stream. No. Oh, okay. Th camera. Thanks very much, guys. I'm gonna take off. Uh, it's been a pleasure. This has been Spassy Green Job. See, man. Have fun playing the game. Now it's just, it's just me. Again, here we are. Kind of. I miss the Italian already, honestly. I don't. I do the accent, but yeah. Look, I don't want to. I don't want to end up on the front page of Reddit. Uh, I don't know. Just seems seems a bit fraught. Hey Brad, hey Brad, Techio. Did you just wince when I said that? I saw a sort of visible wince. Oh, Legend of Techio. Legend of Techio. The mysterious man who. Brad, uh, Brad Casio. Because I'm a math teacher. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's and say that. You killed it. Thanks, dude. Calculator that was jokes. Yeah, nice that was one. A, uh, yeah. That's definitely, that's definitely where I was going with that. Oh, I wasn't just saying the first word that popped in my head for like no reason. Uh huh. I, th I thought like... You're saying I'm over I thought Taki, I thought... Yes, you are. I thought Taki, I was... <gasps> oh, he's here! He's looking very smart too. Wait. Over John. 2-0. Are you nuts? What? <laughs> Shake my hand. Thomas. Is is Takio a brand of something? It sounds it's like a Japanese watch brand. Next, or you got uh, Wow, but probably either Dogfight or Ninhan. All right. Three, yeah. Two, one, go. All right. So last Get time one. these guys played, um, it was actually a pretty tight game five. Uh, game one, he played Mario, and obviously Nike's played. Yoshi the entire time, um, but then he switched to Samus. And yeah, then, and actually like, and he won basically three one thing, yeah. in the Samus versus Yoshi matchup. Um, so it was a very clean play by Kier. So that's obviously dictating his decision this time. Um, the man of many characters who can go most of the cast really and do yeah, pretty well. Yeah, no, it's and like not not. Characters with any like similarity in play style, he just no, like, it can be Mario. Oh, uh, up, up and get up, smash whips, unfortunately.
let me let it. me play a grappler. Let me let me play and a big Yoshi. fat grappler and now and like zoner. switch to like a hard, patient, super campy zoner. Yeah, he's yeah. He would just play anyone. Um, he's like a ditto. I I imagine this or makes like a choosing mimic. a character in a set very difficult or very easy, mm, depending yeah, on how much you get. Yeah, yeah, like, true. You could either be oh uh, he just plays whoever he feels like or. He's got a lot to choose yeah. from, and it's actually kind of well, tricky for him. I thought originally that Q was like a character counter picker, like he picked the best matchup, but apparently no. I don't. He's a he's a player counter picker. I think that's it's, much more the case. Yeah. Is that he actually picks versus Yoshi like, Samus is pretty lousy, like I'm sure for Samus. Oh, bad oh, DI. Oh, I mean, it's kind it's, of ambiguous. It is. It's, it's basically. I think it's a 50-50. It wasn't bad <laughs> DI. It's more like unfortunate DI. Yeah. No, you guessed wrong as to which side he which, was going to end up on because, yeah, yeah, exactly. like, you got to read that drift and. Uh, it's just it's not it right. like I don't know if there's any consistent way to tell. Maybe it's like Rob's where you can manipulate it by like oh. holding one way than the other. But good Yoshi with the lane back. Q, but that's ugh. Ugh. synchronized. Ugh. Ugh. Yoshi. Ugh. But no, he he leaned back with F slash landing, to dodge landing with side B, but actually getting punished for it. Okay, so he's cheating. Yeah, that's the only that's, answer. I don't know if that can. Ooh, down be out of the egg. That's actually super smart. The heck yeah. That. Um, Nike is always going for these like low forward airs off stage. Ooh, nice, okay. nice attack. So up. this is like classic Nikes. He'll basically always just go for fair. Yeah. Like yeah. he'll run off and fair. he'll drop zone fair. Like or, or every he'll cover, time, and it hasn't really worked out. He'll cover low. Yeah. Which he, I suppose he won't wait for. He won't like, wait for you to do anything. He'll just hit just, there. Just hit low, yeah. Woo! Wow, Great that's, back air. Oh, that's a strong move. That's a very strong move. Is this move. Just a five, by the way? It is, yes. Oh we gosh. got winners semis. Crazy. So we're going to top six best of five for the low entrance. Charge it's shot much up. easier. Dash back. That's crazy. Oh, that is a thing, but like, you don't see all, it all that much. Yeah, uh, so low percent much. projectile starters. Uh, I, ju I just realized how, well, not really just realized, but it just like became apparent to me how good Yoshi's shield is on, on platforms. Especially like, Samus's arrows are really big and I find they tend to shield poke a lot, especially yeah. below, like up so air. Just like, but Yoshi's it's, immune. It's been an, um, an advantage of Yoshi's for every game, really, but it's... Shield poking less, hasn't been really... Shield poking has been so much, much less thing. apparent yeah, in the last yeah. couple games that... Yeah, and this one's really it's noticeable. It's never really, except maybe in Melee, it's never really been something you yeah, like, super Melee, needed to consider. In Melee, it's definitely something that most characters consider a lot of. They actually do their shield shuffling and stuff like yeah, that to yeah, try yeah. and get around stuff. But um, but you don't you see none of the like moves just poking through full shields kind of garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> admittedly, I watch for that sort of thing all the time with like Greninja Nairs and stuff like that. Oh I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. that head is poking out of that shield. <laughs> I reckon it's gonna work. <laughs> Sometimes it, just, it like you can't tell. Like I'll just land Ike Nair on people shielding and it'll work. I'm like okay, I guess I'll take it. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't feel good about it. Ooh, a little low on the charge shot there, but they're both pretty just much barely. at kill percent now. Uh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh great spacing. Yeah. Beautiful. Gets the sweet spot too. Boom. Yeah, imagine spacing around Yoshi aerials on crazy. landing and getting a sweet spot. And actually hitting, yeah. This guy's crazy. Not like me just walking, like, <laughs> pressing and moving. It's and all sweet time. spot. Gah! Gah! <laughs> I guess I guess it's not a disjoint, so that's like your one kind of saving grace there, that if you do not play like a dumbass, you can't, like, hit Yoshi, but... Yeah, no, um, at least... I mean, it helps that my character's really good at it, but the way I've always tried to play against Yoshi is just whiff punish. Yeah. They yeah. they like to press aerials. That they, they like do. to press forward. That they do. The projectile's not that great. So, like, you just wait for them to fare at you. And yeah, then, and then just hit them. And then you hit them. Which, it, but, like, it's a struggle it's for like characters kind of that don't have fast moves. Yes. When you see Yoshi I, jumping, like, I don't as know. As I said, like, I play a character that's good at it, right. so it helps. But like, <laughs> like I see Yoshi go jump and I try to like up tilt with Ike or something like that or like anti-airing him is and it really just doesn't hard. work. It no, doesn't work. You yeah, don't want to uh. anti-airing is hard. Yeah, like that's like bizarrely good. Uh, did he just trip? Crazy. That's Why a, did he just trip? Low percent combo. Ooh, the th okay. Oh, I actually like the down beat. Yeah, that's, that's a good chase, that's, actually. That's clever. So people do drift in there as well. Oh, he's got a bit low. <laughs> that back air nearly sniped his jump. The longest tether grab. Ooh. Kind of doing the melee, Samus. Just like hitting tilts, but brave grab by Q there. Ooh, oh, the clips stars. by the stars. They're always so annoying. You, or I always space like jar, like pixels around it. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. nice up smash by that, reaction. That yeah. went nowhere. Yeah, the move's actually kind of garbo. Well, maybe it's like it got a sweet spot or something Ooh. that I don't know about. Oh my god. 
That move is not Garbo. That move that is moves very good. Head. Oh, misses his tech, but he lives. Oh, good DI again. Going like great DI. Yeah. Oh, oh he's air dodged. Wah, wah. Off stage. Some Never great, the way. like, Nikes was pressuring like super hard. There, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I understand. In, in, going the category, for the in the category of errors there, I'd call that a forced error. Oh, absolutely. Okay. As opposed to just killing yourself. Nice tennis reference. Thanks, man. Beautiful. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make what it a thing. What a classy individual. Right? Of course, you like. I tennis. feel like, like cause you call that an SD. <laughs> no, he doesn't it's... like tennis, right? A lot of people would say, "Oh, he has DK. Oh, he up there for no oh reason. It gets caught. Don't press buttons. <laughs> what are you pressing telling up Nike, there for? Telling Yoshi to not press buttons. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it clips it. Exactly. It's game tied. <laughs> Yikes. What two hits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got multi hits. That, I've never seen that happen. It, it gives him a good zap. Normally, normally, like, zzz. when I try playing Samus, I'd hit like the one and just get punished. For it. Ooh, the bomb, bomb there! Oh my god! He has, oh my god. he has got a jump. He's got all kinds of setups. But he's gonna have to drift back in. Nice, yeah, nice great down B. Smart down B. That's a really safe way to get back to your ledge. Oh, um, um, dodges jab. Dodge, uh, with well, the low profile yeah. of the dash grab. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Low I love low profile. Oh, nice charge up. Smash. I mean, I, I sh didn't say I it anywhere. What the heck? Really shouldn't complain about low profiles, but like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I still hate to see it. <laughs> like, it's like, ugh. it's the yeah. It's like I'll take it, but like, yeah, I'm, yeah, not, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not it's happy like, about it. Like, I didn't earn that. <laughs> this is lame. Ooh, down air on shield. Really safe, actually. See, Nike, every time Q hits Nike shield, Nike's just press the button. Yes, Like, he's correct. always just like, immediate forward, whether immediate it, back air. Whether it was a safe aerial or not, he he'll just press the button. It. Yeah. And ooh, clips ooh, it! Ooh, okay, nice oh. air dodge. Uh, Trying to catch a jump good off Good patience on the ledge. What the? Catches down Was that a reaction? Uh, he's insane. And he just did jab grab in this game. Jab grab doesn't work in uh, this game. Maybe it does. It uh, we, we it's hit, a fantastic hit, mix up. Oh, nice great air dodge, dodge, actually. Nikes is living. He's living, as Yoshi's do. He can't get grabbed again. He's a, he's a little tank. I'm pr quite sure two different throws will kill him. Uh, yes, you are You are correct. Oh, yep. No out of shield. Don't go near Bring his shield. Uh, yeah, that's uh, a upbeat. Yeah. Dead. Got him. So that's like, I know why Nikes does that, because if he does catch neutral get up, it's a shield break and you die. Oh, yeah, no. And you it's, fall off stage. It's a really strong move. Like, it's got a lot of knockback, even for Samus. But like, it just... It just feels really like kind of too committal at that percent, where you could fish for like a different aerial and not have to go for like down. But yeah, you oh, miss it, you no die. Jump. Oh my oh, god! I like the attempt. He's clipping him off this ledge though. Down oh, it great, actually down beats it? Yoshi aerials. Nothing's just ever been under Yoshi. No, it never happens. It's never been seen before. But N Nike's with the very nice, very nice anti. -air. Oh, soft, soft hit of the uh, F smash. Up two. It's a good move. Uh, he's waiting for a roll. Oh, Whoa. Okay. Catches him jumping. He's always jumping. He's mixing up the charge shot timing really well. Yeah, no, he's doing extremely well. Uh, 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 trying to shot. Oh, great upbeat. Uh, that he's going to shoot the shot. Oh, oh he's got him. Oh, my God. Oh, what a snipe. From that downtown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I had the vision, man. I'm like, he's up there. He's going to shoot the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You caught it early. But, oh. but Nike's, I think, like probably reacted just like a fraction of a second too late. Yeah, and, I can see And it. was still holding right when he air dodged, so he like, yeah. Unfortunate that he didn't like go in, but... Actually, even, like, it's a good trap there, because even if Nike's air dodged in, he'd be in the air without a jump or an air dodge. Yes. He could just and go, like, nair or something he's like that. And Yoshi air dodge extremely laggy. Yes. Like, yeah, he would have had all true. the time in the world to punish a Yoshi coming at him just with jump so out much there. lag. Yes, that's a, that's um, a good point. Could have caught a smash attack, maybe, up smash, whatever, like... Mm. He, it was a bit of a checkmate almost. It was yes, very very well played by young Cubert. Absolutely got setups on setups right now. And he does. The Samus looking yeah looking clean. Like oh, when he had the what was it bomb net like bomb on the platform into Nair mm, and you just yeah, call him yeah. landing with the I'm like what are you what who is this man? Who is this man? <laughs> He's Nuts. insane. And yeah like. Most of his charge shots hit. Yeah, no, which is not something you see all that often, really. Yeah, his um, I want to say his accuracy, his ratio with the charge shots is actually excellent. Like mm. he caught jumps, he caught Does ledge jumps. You look like Jesus. <laughs> I just realized. Poor eyesight, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's the class is just a front dude. If Jesus was alive, and we wouldn't just. Rock we, up. We can't yeah. assume that he had good eyesight, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, <laughs> discrimination <laughs> against someone? Um, anyway. Alright. FD. 
So uh, Nike is not liking the platform coverage that Q is putting out. Uh, no, I, actually, that's probably a good call, but that is a forward air. That is damage that and is nothing more. 60% in 10 seconds. Grabs the wrong way. Nice up here to should be. Might get punished that does for that percent. Oh, okay. Pew? What the heck? Oh, my goodness. Pew? No pew. No pew. Pew? Oh, he... No. Oh, oh, that every... didn't even break. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Pew? Oh, okay. Nice, nice reaction. Yeah. I like the bounce. Oh, he hit the bomb as well. Oh, my... Set up. He's crazy. You trying to shield? Uh-uh. I don't think Fifth so. Fifth dimension galaxy brain stuff right here. Forward air? Low? Yeah, okay. He wasn't oh. even down there, like, there's no point Kick doing him. that. Ah. Yeah, not quite. Ooh, Ooh, okay. Read the jump, but he was too far for it. Punch. Read the approach. Nike's just... Jump. Off uh, ledge. Oh, Patrick, I, I just have guessed. you not already won? <laughs> You've got the reads. Uh, oh, I, That's I, a nice I don't know what that pokes. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yoshi up air, ridiculous out of shield Crazy. option. Like, he already had an air, which is insane. But they gave him back air Yeah, yeah, true. Like, imagine this character with more out of shield options than he needs. And he can't get shield break. Oh, that's gonna do it! Oh, we're up throw, actually. No, not back throw. Crazy. Nike isn't, like, really kind of respecting the telegraph, especially on ledge. I feel like he's trying to... Oh, that's not quite went. He got pressured off stage. It was... Forced air. Forced Yes. So, yeah, like, Q is... Nike's just trying to, like, hit Q's get-up option with, like, fade-back aerials. But he's never fading back far enough to, like, not get dash grab. Well, not, not never, but, like, he's yeah. frequently getting uh, standing grabbed just from, like, trying to fade back. One yes. of the few advantages of telegrabs. Yeah, so telegrabs in this game, like, you actually get to Like, he almost grab. could have done it there, right? Yeah, he yeah. got hit by the forward air, but if he shielded it, like, Nike's uh, tried to drift back, but he, he was... He used his jump unnecessarily on stage. Uh, forward air. Of course he was going to get punished. Jump. Oh, oh, that traded nice. that time. He did the board air, actually. That I'm was... not seeing consistency with this up B. Like, before yeah. the up B was beating Yoshi Aerials, and then it traded. Yeah, in, the right. in the worst time possible for him. It beat down B before, which was like... Huh? Yeah, exactly. Is this move broken or terrible? I can't <laughs> tell. Schroding oh, is... the jump! <laughs> oh, my God. How did, how did he know? Jab grab not working that time. Like, he's just pressing he's, buttons he's on been buttons. He's aware, yeah. Who knew? Buttons. I'd, I'd, like, I don't know if you can react to Samus Grab if it's like fast enough for you to get Samus Grab if you can just go like, oh, nah. I'm going to jump. Nah. I, oh, pew. I remember okay. they tested it in Smash 4 like, oh, with really? CSS, like it, what is or isn't reactable. Right. Like um, Mario F Smash, not reactable. Uh, okay. Um, uh, it's like below be a certain frame. Yeah, by, like, 16 frames or something. ZSS, like... ZSS standing grab isn't reactable and everyone thought it was. Yeah. Or like, no depending on range, because no like it actually is just a grab that goes out like this. If right. you were at point blank, then it wasn't reactable even if it was slow. Yeah. But at max range, it might have been, sort of thing. Nike's hanging onto this stock for dear life and just kind of he's taking like a few minor hits. He's taking this lead to the bank, that's There's for a sure. Lot of, a lot of out of shield options that are kind of working out really well for him. Yeah. Uh, yep. Nice feedback. He really but trying to play it safe. Yoshi's telegram actually coming out. He's still got to jump, but it's going to be a very dicey recovery with Nair and Blade. Yeah, that's a, oh, uh, great try. Oh, okay, what? Doesn't dip down there. Goes down instead of just trying to punish a regrab. Crazy. Interesting choice. Well, oh, Not yeah, sure no, I agree with it. There. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. I don't know what. Actually, Yoshi could down smash on the ledge. Surely, okay, quick 50% right? true combo what from Q. Heck? That's ridiculous. Crazy. That's going to be a. Oh, oh, great okay. air dodge. Off stage. He's gonna oh, try to make it happen, oh, but he's gonna oh, not oh, die. He lives. Drift to uh, ledge. Yeah, smash. Yeah. Thought he was getting him out of shield. The drift was too safe from Nike's. He's uh, he's got a game on the board from Nikel. <laughs> Nikel. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> All right. FD pick working out well for Nick Es for Nokies. Gnocchi. 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 It hurts. It does, it does. I'm not, I'm not, not enjoying yeah. this commentary nicknames. right now. His nicknames just not doing it for me. All right, he's taking him back to Probably Battlefield. Works, he was right. confident yeah, with how this game so. went. Opposite of FD. Uh, completely fair and reasonable choice. Speaking of fair, I did not realize that move does 16. That's pretty cool. Is Samus broken? Samus might be broken. What the heck? I'm seeing he's done 80%. And like he's done nothing. He hit Ooh, like that's an F smash. He hit about three moves. Yeah, what the heck? And he's at 80. Ooh, oh, wow. Well, that's, Nike's has hit two moves and three moves and he's at 60. So these characters are both broken. They're clearly insane. What the heck? I 
You I'm don't just really see this. Samus like slugging all this much. But. Yeah, no, he's definitely brawling. Ooh, that was a really good up air. Getting around. Almost could have gone for four day. That was a bit. Ambitious. That's the cheekiest up air. I like it. If though. it worked, I would have popped off. No lie. <laughs> like, yeah, that been yeah, that would have been like <laughs> a big <laughs> <laughs> douche. That's how you know you're reading about the game. Like, yeah. Ah, dash tag on shield. That is not even a remote back save. Ooh, but he's just. He's just running at it. I don't oh. really know what he's trying to bait out, but he's like making me nervous. He's going to do something wack. He's doing a lot of uh. movement. Oh! No, it's okay. not going to kill. Not yet, that was the but uh, aerial like, version. He's. <sighs> Oof. I like the way he's reading. Oh, wow. He's, he's definitely I, reading from left to right, right like, top to bottom. Crouch cancel that. He was on the platform. Yeah, yeah. Great DI, too. Actually, Jesus. excellent DI. Uh, okay. uh, not that time. Caught the air dodge. That's yeah. really not easy to do. Q's, Q's figured out like the option to deal with that now, clearly. Oh, okay. That's a punch. Yep, 22, that's what you get. Uh, goes through platforms for some reason. Charge more smash no, attacks. Beard desperate. Oh, oh catch smash. a shit, I got up attack. Oh my god, Air up smash in. connects. This is insane. All hits. He was like, wasn't even above him. This is actually like. Never before seen. You turn it at. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. See what I mean about Yoshi Air You can like yeah, always punish it. Like, I basically guarantee it. You can just. You'll get something. Yeah, that's crazy. Woo! Q's, Q's just lapped He's him like. A couple of swift neutral into. Oh my oh, god. Oh, the stars poked. Crazy. That's silly. Do 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 it. Oh, great. What? Great DI. No, you can't do that. That's not possible. That no. The launch ratio was on 0 0.7. Uh, That's no. bonkers. See, I've never seen that. Nobody's ever successfully DI'd that move. Nobody's ever died that, die that move. What do you do? You I'm die it out. I'm actually going to have to ask you. You hold it again. out. Crazy. It's just out. It's like, or maybe really? down and out. Yeah, because I thought it was like, you know, Corrin Pink. It does where you not. Go like straight. No. Straight down? No. What no. the world? Down and out. It's like an 80 degree move. You DI it, like, show you. Oh. It sends okay. it at, like, that angle. Wow. Um, That's a stock. Woo! Great catch from Q. Didn't let Nikes catch the lead too much. Mm. Keeps the earnest on him to chase. Uh, One point oh, eight. Zero out of shield, I love that. <laughs> like when you meant to do something else, that's 34. And a jab, uh, jab reset. Lock. Oh my god. Oh, he takes chase. Down to a No, great. Nike's DI's out. That's like good awareness. Oh, oh. my god. Push. Shot. He's got it. He's, he's got, got his jump. jump. But oh, he could have like grabbed him possibly. Could have done a lot probably. Oh, oh he's done what it. The he's heck? got him. Soft down it. Crazy. That's that's gonna take it. Q going. Q going a little wild at the end there. Q absolutely. He's, he's a, that he's was a really strong set. Man. That was a strong ass set. Strong ass set. Alright, okay, I think we have to play now, by the way. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, just chill out. I gotta chill. I can't only be here for like maybe five minutes or something. That's cool. But, uh,. We on this, boys. We in here. We we living. We out here breathing in that oxygen, exhaling that uh, CO2. C CO2? CO2, is that what we exhale? I know I what you know. fart methane. I know that. Of course you would know something. I know the fart one. I used to teach uh, the uh, riscaldamento globale, so global warming back in Italy, so I, I know some things. Yeah, the textbooks were... How were the textbooks over there? Um, no, I was teaching from my own agency stuff, so that's... Yeah, no, I had nothing... Oh, actually, the textbooks over there were pretty weird. They have to read Jane Austen for their English. Like, um, we're talking Pride and Prejudice kind of stuff. Oh. So Italian kids are reading old English when we're reading, like, the modern stuff. Yeah. It's just, ugh, terrible. Yeah, it's not great. Anyway, that looked like a pretty unlucky run for Nikes. Q is, um, as said in chat, Q's always playing mad. Like, yeah, he's always good. He's, he's really good. Q is really good. But, you know, I, I have no doubts that Nike's put up a really good fight. I'm, I'm expecting DK from Blue. I don't know. He's a, he's another one that, like, can just play a random character and do really well with. Yeah. I'm not too... No, it goes Ike. Oh, he's got Ike the Ike. Is. Yeah, so probably a quick and, quick and simple one for uh, the... The young Ike. Ike's amazing this game. We gotta switch the uh, so good. Oh, does it have to be swapped around? Yeah, buddy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, no, I still can't figure out how to play around an Ike. I think this is a negative one kind of matchup for Greninja, in my opinion. <laughs> but you don't know. I have no real experience well, in Smash I Ultimate. I think the big issue you're finding is you have nothing out of shield to uh, 
into a, like, you know, if he nares on you, like, you don't know what to do. No, that would be a negatory. Like, yeah. if I maybe up smash out a shield, it's probably going to catch him on the side, but I won't get that sweet spot. So I think the idea is to bully him and just stay out of range of that tree that he's got in his hands. Yeah, so what Taicho did exactly what I was thinking of before, uh, before you started talking was him to make, like, throw an aerial out and then just catch it on the whiffing. So he, as he it. did a nair, he just popped him with a forward air as he's landing. So, But once Ooh. those fares come out, it's just... I wouldn't say it's game over, but it's definitely uh, hard. I'm pretty sure nair's the one you're thinking of. The, the Ike Yeah, Ike the chopping. Nair? Yeah, yeah, it's a nair. So That's nair, nair sends you so straight up. So you can do a nair up air, and it's like very true at like 90%. Fair sends you like diagonal, doesn't Ooh. it? Oh, very nice. Actually, this is one of my uh, PS1 is really good for Greninja because you get those double hits. We used to. Oh, PS2, excuse me. My knowledge coming through. <laughs> oh, my lack of. Yeah, you cannot punish down tilt. Greninja down tilt, too good. Okay, the quick draw, grabs ledge. Oh, oh, I didn't realize he actually hit the nair. That could have been an easy backer up here. Yeah, Nike, uh, Nike's. Ike has got plenty of confirms out of his aerials. It's just deciding which one you're meant to be doing at the time. Oh, Ooh, that is a down tilt. Back air. Quick as aerial. Back air is really good and just pressuring and keeping people off stage. I love it. The Nair, no. Okay, very a close. DBZ, yeah. yeah. Uh, Blue almost dying from that completely. It was a weird trade. That's it. And so Ike's heavy too, so it's going to take a while for him to die. Yeah, Taicho seems to be playing safe around Ike, just Full crossing throw? up. Full no. throw. What? That <laughs> got sparks. Uh, that is Greninja's kill throw in this game. He's much stronger than up air, but yeah. But still, like, living. Ike's side B, he can act out of that pretty much as soon as he lands. Yeah, so the he almost quick had a draw. Yeah. There you go. Very nice fair. Very well spaced. Clean forward aerial. <laughs> it's clean. The dash attack, the swing. So no extra credit on that for Taicho, unfortunately, but he has got him off stage. See what he can do with it. Rapids. Okay, another rapid. Always good. Ah, oh, we got to play. I hate when I'm playing against a Bowser and I decide to use those jabs. It's uh, and his powers through it. It's honestly, yeah, it's an experience. Just watching Bowser turn around while I'm trying to jab him with that. But jab seems to be working on Ike really well. Oh, sometimes him just throwing out aerials just tends to work out, I swear. So far, Taicho is playing rather safe. Very well done. Nice. It's just, uh, it's just making him whiff things. He's getting it. Uh, Patrick's just getting antsy. Yeah, it's... Forward air? No. You could full hop fair, and I'm pretty sure that would have been true. Greninja is a pretty low profile as well, so maybe it's something that would normally hit other characters isn't quite hitting Greninja at some points. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. he whiffed, and that end lag just nearly got him killed for that. Oi. Yeah, he's, he's got really range nice too. Don't forget. Yeah, nice. That confirm will do it. That's the late percent down tilt to fair. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm just getting the second up air. Weak hit of dash attack. Jeez. Yeah, that would have killed if it was a strong. Uh, anything. Anything Ooh. blue. You had a get up attack is very, very slow. Very punishable in this game. F2 would have probably killed him if he was ready for it. Up air is going to do it. There's still neck and neck. I haven't seen. We have a dog in the. Okay, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Casual dog inside the place. It, it, it comes and goes. It comes. <laughs> we just have the dog in the tournament. Okay, I wasn't ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, welcome to Evac. Welcome to Evac. Random dogs uh, enter the building. Please, can we can we call that dog a cheese name like mozzarella the dog or something? That'd be hilarious. I don't know the exact name. So, uh, apparently, we know, but I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I mean, it's neck and neck right now. Anything. Yeah, they've been they've been at neck and neck the whole game. Uh, extra credit wise, they haven't been getting extra damage on top of the stocks. Not sure if Nair up is going to do it. Maybe at 84, a Nair will do it. He whiffs a side B. That's uh, when you see him side B randomly. Taicho, he always it's says that he's yeah, it's a missing. Yeah, uh, he might have been going for like a turnaround uh, shuriken. Okay, I think down to no, I don't think down to it up smash will work. He's yet, but dash attack. Nair up air is not going to probably do it at this point. So right now the game looks pretty even, but it's very scary for I think Taicho. I think it's harder for Taicho, yeah, it at this is. point. Oh, he's waiting. Look at the wait. Ooh, oh, the tech. The patience. So patient. So, ah, wow. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Someone's been hitting the lab with that. Yeah, buddy. All right, I gotta play my game. So no have worries. Fun, friend. It's been a pleasure, Stabathy. I'll be back for more practice. That's game one on to Taicho. Is this this is the best of three, right? Yeah, best of three. Sweet. Back onto Pokemon Stadium two. That is a really good Greninja stage. It, it's a personal preference. They might have just got for an agreement instead of the rock, paper, scissors. See how this game fares for them. They're both really evenly matched. So this is definitely very high. Okay, we've got Taito opening up the Shuriken. A bit of hits on Shield. It seems that Taito is getting the first hits in Nooch. Racking up that easy damage. The, this is the old Greninja bed, bread and butter. Not bed and butter. That'd be a really uncomfortable situation if you had butter in your bed. Right, throwing out some shurikens. I think we're trying to force an approach from Ike. Ike getting that one grab. Let's see if he can capitalize. He got a bit of bit of easy damage on there. It's a matter of hitting an aerial. If Ike hits an aerial, he can just start to string them together. Ooh, look at the patience on both guys. You can tell their minds are racing right there when he's just laying on the platform. So far, just it's a bit of dancing going on. Great grab. Yep. Getting that Greninja off stage into the eruption. That is a scary move. That, that for people at home, has been buffed like crazy since Smash 4. <laughs> eruption, you're pretty much a volcano. Good down tilt to up smash. Ooh, and we're going to take it with the up air. Very well done by Blue. Now it's a matter of Greninja getting this kill. This is not where you want to be as a Greninja player just because you're late percent combos on heavies. It's, you see, they're going to live. They're going to live through something like that, which would have killed a Pichu, per se. But we're living it. We've got faith in our man, Taicho. Blue getting the grab, though. An extra grab. He's waiting him out. We're seeing some patience. Right, and Taicho trying to hit that sour spot in there, which I'm assuming can combo into a fair. But Ike is prepared. Blue is prepared. Shadow Sneak got a kill from all the way over in uh, Siberia on the other side of stage. Really well done. Hello. Hello. Joined by my man Dogfoot. How we doing? Oh, yeah, not too bad. Just that I do a bit of comms before I get out of here. No, absolutely. So we got Taicho and... So we see Taicho is doing a bit of bullying to Ike. He's trying to keep him from sending out those aerials. And I think Blue's understood that he can't quite just throw them out willy-nilly. Yeah, he's going to be clean. Because uh, this matchup is going to be Ike looking for... He's going to be looking... He's going to be, you know, mixing up his approaches. He's going to be looking for good That's good grabs. Those grabs are going to be his money makers. And just like that, Blue's back in the lead. He's going to be looking for the Nair. He's going to be looking for the grab. And at every opportunity... Taicho's going to be looking to punish the whiffs. Taicho has been making very good use of those multi-hit jabs um, and just trying to get the damage out. Bit of, you know, Greninja bread and butter. <laughs> Earlier yeah. I said bed and butter <laughs> accidentally. I'm like, that would be uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'd... Uh, you wouldn't want butter not, in your bed, would you? Probably not the most economic way to sleep. <laughs> right, so um, Blue is racking up some really nice extra credit here. Sitting at a pretty 63% for the Greninja. Honestly, yeah. this is looking pretty scary for it's, old Taito. He's not in a good position because he doesn't want to be in the position where he is, he's forced to approach. He wants like, doesn't have to approach. He doesn't have to go for the risky option. He can just sort of sit there and wait for him to... That's it. Wait for uh, him to throw something out and hopefully catch him with a net. Oh, but he's in a bad position here. Taicho throwing out the shurikens. And I think forward throw won't quite take him just yet, but... It's heavy. That, that side B sure is... Cool. Oh, cool. Okay, and there he goes. Huh. Strong there. That'll do it. Now it's up to Taicho to bring it back with a bit of neutral, but it is looking rather dire. He's making some very aggressive actions. He's just darting in and out, trying to get that trying to get that combo started. Oh, this is for Taicho? Yeah. Yeah, that dash attack will set up into yeah all types. S, up smash, up air. It's just... Greninja is still rather light, so I think a heavy flick will do the trick. Yeah, I don't think... Uh, I don't, yeah, I think he's out of confirm range now for sure, but he's going to be looking for a straight up here or F tilt. Or maybe even... Ooh, I think he's in... Or eruption online. Oh, he gets oh, in. Ooh, and that's too late percent yeah, to attack. No, no, absolutely <laughs> 
So we're 1-1 one, in a game that's a best of three. Uh, best of three or first of three? For, oh, first of three, excuse me. Best okay, of three. yeah. Bah, what is this? Me. Is this... Uh, is this semis or quarters at this point? I have absolutely no clue. Have the Can we get a TO over here? Yeah. <laughs> I checked the bracket. Yeah, good idea. Thanks, man. So we're on to the game three. Very evenly matched, neck and neck. Let's see how they do. On to the town in Schnitty. Town in Schnitzel. Town in Schnitty? Yeah, town in Schnitty. Haven't got no KK slider, that's unfortunate, but that's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, no Saturday night. No Saturday night fever. Um, we got Blue getting those Ike combos online early, but Taito managing to get back to the stage. It seems to be the priority. I think he could have gotten something out of that down tilt there, but... Maybe he can get the dash in before he cut the up smash. So Blue's spacing with his aerials seems to be improving. Yeah, he's just done... Oh. He's doing a good job of just like... Yeah, he caught him right in the back. Of the and he's, he's reading the rolls in. Ooh. His timing's on point as well. Yeah, the eruption timing. Because that is a big hitbox below the stage, that will hit very often. Got some gentle bullying coming out from Taicho. Back air is a perfect move to do so. Okay, so this is quarterfinals. Quarterfinals? Beautiful. Do we need to change that on the thingy? Uh, here? I don't uh, know. Actually, I think it is I think winner's bracket. It's winners. Should, should be good. Should be right. It's close enough. Um, so, Blue's got that extra credit online into the down, down throw, <laughs> I almost said down grab, down throw into the aerials. Seems Taicho's just going to play it cool, just the find the thing. confirm. 80% of this stuff. He missed that jump read, yeah, it's going to cost him. Well, Taicho's going to make the plays here. Yeah. Blue, Blue just needs to, he needs to keep doing what he's doing. Oh, does it get, oh, there's a floor there, yeah, very nice. Down to it's a very beautiful move. Anything like his invincibility, but he doesn't need to do anything. All he has to do is that. He's, just, he's got him to the edge of the stage, he's just gonna wall him out or try it. Yeah, he dinked out the eruption with the shuriken, it seems he might have uh, learned to how to the capture cover that. Smash there. Ooh. <laughs> that, that grab is gonna be not it, nah, not it. Not I think it's a bit too high. Yeah, too high percent. Very Ooh. nice weight. Tries to call that. Any other day, I think that might have worked. Yeah. Eruption, not quite making oh. it. Shuriken got him before. Make anything in the air, but gets it down to it anyway. He's bringing this back. He's bringing this back slowly but surely. He's got the stage, but Ooh. and it's gone as quick as he had it. The back, the back air will do it. <laughs> Waiting patiently, and then just took a sword to the face. <laughs> Let's go. Cool. It's hard. To, it's hard to predict when they'll do their get up attacks. Quickly racked on 50%. This isn't looking good for Taika. Yeah, Blue's edge guarding is looking really nice right now. He's just, you see, he's just doing such a good job of like, he knows he has the lead. Oh, very nice. Might have been able to live that one, but yeah. maybe not sure of the way he was going. He, he caught that landing. I think it was just very unexpected, that air smash. Yeah. You can see Taika, oh, he gets something. Taika's having a real hard time there because he's getting gated out. And Blue's just sitting in the center of the stage forcing him to try and get in somehow. This is a really high oh, game. Oh, and he gets the F-tilt on the F-tilt will take it. It's so fast, F-tilt. So this is, yeah, this must be, yeah, this is the best of three. Oh, it oh, is a best of three. Alrighty. First of three. Yeah. First of three. Best of five. It's, excuse me. It's confusing. Best of five. First of three. Five games possible. <laughs> I got this. Start the battle. Chat, please bear with me. I'm, I am so sorry. <laughs> Patrick is a thirsty boy after that one. Patrick, he's, he's thirsty. Are they having a drink up? So that's two for Blue and one for Tai Chu. Tai Chu. Tai Chu. Three, two, one, Are you going to town? Go. Uh, was it Smashville or town last this time? This is, oh, it's been town both times. Okay. They started off on uh, PS Stadium, I believe. Right. Uh, yeah. Number two, probably one stadium number two, if I remember correctly. I don't, I don't know who elected for this, but this would be pretty good for Ike. If he, just, he can cover a whole platform with those. Ooh. Yeah, true. Oh, he gets a pretty counter. nice counter. Ba barely any damage off of that. Yeah, it, it's more just to get that, that control, I guess, but still, yeah. Yeah, nothing really came of it. 
So what Taicho will be looking for is a dash attack to combo into his um, his neutral combos. But yeah, he's looking for... Nice. Grab. Grab. Yeah, low percent grabs, and then, well, grabs, dash attack, D-tilt. F-tilt's a good move as well for spacing, but I think I think Ike's sword would beat it. Ah, yeah, for sure. And once again, he's just forced to take the, the outer part of the stage and approach inwards. Throwing out his sword, looking to catch any kind of approach from him. That's you know, it. Really good at co job of covering the wall. And that was back air? Uh, I don't know, but that I, was a that was quick. I, I, I figured it had clash. to be back air because it came out so quick. But Blue space of these nares very well. That was nair, wasn't it? Back there. It's yeah. hard to tell. They were just like sword swings. I think that might have been a misinput. I don't know. Taicho's not one to throw out a shadow sneak so early, but... Uh, he'll, yeah, he'll dire. do it from time to time. He'll mix it up. He thinks it'll throw you, yeah, he yeah. does it occasionally. Yeah, might have been a bit desperate there, he's definitely getting there. Blue seems to have it figured out. Oh, oh that sent him away, that should have set him up, but that's, that's the nature of the game sometimes. So, Taicho, again, looking pretty dire, but he's brought it back from worse. So, oh, yeah, gets the good Excellent. Turn. And Blue's just gonna hold center like that. It seems like this time. Oh, there's, yeah. yeah. Blue's Narrow holding there. center and just covering options yeah. there. He's having a real, like, he doesn't seem to be having a uh, hard time getting the kill once he's got into that percent, but he's getting, he's having a really hard time just like, like Blue's just not giving him any, any leeway. He's just not giving him any room to get his damage in. Absolutely. Except for then. But. <laughs> oh. I think Taichos is looking for his um, way to set up the strings. Like, if he can get Ike in the air, just keep bullying him, then it will work out. But this is a very difficult matchup. And Ike, in general, is a difficult character to play, to play against. Oh, there it is. No. Oh, good DI. But optimal DI from Taicho. Uh, he might be able to bring this back. Pull out a miracle. Oh. Very nice confirm. Nah, Ike's too heavy. <laughs> oh, very nice. There he goes, down to F. Showing he knows his kill F confirms. I said F air, I meant fair. I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're all pretty knackered. It is the end of Friday. Yeah. I don't know what he can do here. He's just going to need a. I pray I that he doesn't get smacked by some stray hit, otherwise he's just going to die. That parry was scary, but Taito's just looking for his opening to get his bread and butter going. It's and I don't know if it's just the positioning or... Oh my goodness. Was, this is scary stuff. Tries to go, catch the roll in. Could this be the end of a set or a game five? Oh my oh, goodness. He got some damage. Is he bringing this back? Oh, is he... Has he done it? Oh, oh my goodness! It, yeah. Can somebody clip five. this? <laughs> no, don't, don't clip it, but... My goodness! Taicho somehow made the impossible possible tonight. That that was looking terribly dire. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Patrick perhaps getting a little eager to close out this stuff. Yeah, might have gotten a bit nancy there. The momentum turns just for a few 30 seconds. I think it's I enough to do it. I think I just said he might have gotten a bit Stop nancy. <laughs> nancy? <laughs> I don't know who nancy is, but she sounds like a... I don't know. Sounds like a fun girl. I, I imagine it's an old, like, nancy! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, we got game five on PS2. I'll do the game five. <laughs> Definitely an nice choice. So, this is a good stage, I was saying earlier, for Greninja. He can get that double hit on the up smash through these platforms if he so well pleases. But yeah. it I, could I, be good for Ike as well. I think it's better reason. for Ike. Yeah. I, th I think that's why he's probably going to town most of the time because the uh, I think it's the height of these platforms is like he can just, give Ike some ladder combos that he wouldn't normally get. He can just swing and go to town with these as well by yeah. the looks of it. The right percent, you can get a kill. You can get a kill. Oh, good air dodge. 
the percent lead, but he doesn't have the stage. Yeah, so Blue's really been he's controlling the stages in these last yeah. couple sets. He, uh, he's, games. He sits in the middle. He's sitting in the middle of the stage and, and holds it, holding, holding the fort with a big sword by swinging it around Whereas everywhere that Taicho is trying to be. And Taicho's style seems to be a kind of a hit and run, so he'd run yeah, back to the absolutely. side and come back in. So th they're still rather even. It just seems in terms of stage control, Blue's holding it. Mm. As I say it, commentators curse, of course. But it seems that's his priority to get back right into the center of that Pokeball. Yeah. Which is, it's a really good strategy. Oh, catches the landing with a dash. I don't remember the, the names of moves today. Oh, up tilt that takes up it. Up tilt, wow. Yeah. He it's like everything kills. I don't think he was at a really high percent there. Oh, uh, it was 110, I think. The one with the space, probably. Yeah, the no one with the space. That's it. Oh, I guess the uh, down tail ends up smash. And we've got a reset. Here we are. Back to two and two. Oh. Eye looking scary. We're swinging our tree branch around. Got back on. He's doing a really good job of, like, just. Like, even though he's just sort of sitting in the center of the stage, you know, hopping around, making sure he's not just getting. taking damage from shurikens as well. Yeah, he's. He's not just popping brainlessly, that's oh, for sure. Oh, that wasn't going to kill Is it an eruption? anytime soon, I don't think, but we've got sparks anyway. Oh, but a backhead certainly will. Really well spaced. Oh. I'd say this is still pretty close. If Taicho pulls yeah, another one of those out way. of his bum. Oh. I thought he might try the water jet there. Good turnaround grab. Didn't quite make the mark. And it's just the nature of the game. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Something old. That was the weak uh, Oh, there. an F. Nice. That nice. But lands on the stage for free again. Nicely spaced with the fair. That is a very safe option. Couldn't quite punish yeah. the side B. It's hard, I excite you sometimes. It is. Character. But he acts straight out of it. He can jab and F tilt anything. Well, I think it depends. I don't know if it's the same as Smash 4. Oh, F yeah, gets the fair. In Smash 4, if you landed from a certain height, then there was no la like if you if you released it from a certain height and fell uh, a yeah. very particular height, there was no uh, end lag for it or almost zero. But any other, you'd have like quite a bit. I don't think it's quite the same as this. I think it's just the you really have to be good at reacting to it if you don't have a way to like intercept it. That's it. I think on the whole, like is just a faster character too. Oh, oh. oh yeah, that's gonna do it. Yeah. Setting it yeah, in with that confirmed bad. really good set between these two players. Yeah. I think, yeah. I, I, I don't know how many times these guys have played before, but Patrick seems to have uh, Patrick seems to have this matchup figured out. Yeah, um, pretty well. I I play Greninja myself, and I've sometimes he would shadow sneak uh, my comeback as well. Uh, he'd counter my shadow sneak coming back, and that would kill me really early. Mm. So good to see that not happening. I think they're both played really smart. It's just. There was a bit more power on one end <laughs> at yeah. one point. But really close, really close set. Kudos to both of them. All right, let me look at my thing and head off. All righty. Right. You, you're taking off now, man. Good to see you. Got my boy, Atos. What's up? How hey, are we? How you doing, Ninetos? Uh, wait, uh, Ninos? That's an old one. Ninetos, that's an old meme. My memes Ninos. are a year old. I've been gone for too long. Yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah. Nah, so you're, right. you're back, though. That's the main thing. I'm back. We missed you so much. Back on the rack like a Mac with a sack. I don't know what I'm on about, but... Yeah. I'm hungry. Nah, just get on that <laughs> grind. That I, grind. i got to practice, man. I want to get to Taicho level. That is my aim. I want to be as good as this man. Because he yeah, plays no. Greninja so well. He's good. He's very good. Absolutely. I mean, it wasn't even much like... He decided to pick him up, just labbed him out in a couple hours, and um, figured him out. It's it's mental, honestly, and I hate him for it. But, <laughs> you know... Hey, hey, man. Oh, I mean, no hate, obviously. It's just a hyperbole. I'm just I'm he's, exaggerating. He's, 
he's very yeah, he's very switched on. He's, he's, he's a very definitely. smart player as well, so. He's very smart, very patient. Uh, you should have seen some of the comebacks. Were you watching that last game? He, no, he I was playing. I was playing. He brought back a stock at 90% and nice. ended up winning a game that looked like it was unwinnable. Uh, it's a game I would have given up on really early. Um, who does Taco play? Who do, who do we think he's going to be playing today? Link. He play, He mains Link now. He's playing a long okay. Taco just beat me now. Oh, and Taco. He is very scary. Link. He's a very scary Link. He's, he's leveled up. Link, for his small stature, he's got a bit of firepower behind him. Like, looking at him, you would, you'd think, oh, yeah, I'll be all right if yeah. he swings at me. you think he, he'd be okay, but Link, once he swings at you... No, it's like, um, Taco knows, uh, really switched on, uh, like, really good at picking up habits um, and finding out what exactly you're going to do when he throws out your projectiles. Watch, he's going to start with like a bomb and boomerang, as every Link does, but then he'll catch on to exactly what you do once um, once he lands them. Nico mode, oh goodness, really. How long has he been called Nico mode? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, uh, Taicho coming out with a bit of bullying here. We say no to bullies here in SA, but in uh, Smash it's fine. <laughs> are you, advocate, are you, are you uh, condoning bullying? That's bad. <laughs> I am a teacher, I would never condone bullying. <laughs> Good. Good. But maybe a bit of Link bullying. I, I, think I, would, I would bully Link. Anyway, <laughs> down to the match. Um, so, uh, Tacho with a pretty good lead. Um, yeah, he knows his combos. That's it. So, Tacho is uh, he's really fun at doing a bit of a dance around the stage just to remain unpredictable. Yeah. Caught the... He got the other with the up smash. Ooh, true combo. Might have been a bit antsy with that, but uh, Link is a heavy boy what, with all that stuff in his bag. Well, that, that's going to be a free punish. Yeah. He up -bees a lot. And, like, um, a lot of... Uh, you can actually true combo up -bee from... Um, from um, I wasn't even paying attention to what he did to me before, but um, he'll pull it out in this. You'll see it. Yeah, the, the up -bee, I think it is a good kill move. It's just you really have to be careful, especially against someone who can shoot water at you and, you know, send you off. Very yeah. nice use of the down -bee, though. He'll trap you at the ledge. Link... Uh, Taco, uh, when he's got you off stage, um, very threatening. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, Brad uh, with a pretty good lead. Yeah, Taicho is holding that center very well. Normally, I, th I see him preferring to play around the sides, like dash up and back on the sides, but he was he gave holding up. center. Just there, though, he gave up that stage control. Yeah, it's definitely up and back with these two, but Taicho seems to be controlling just a little bit better. Here it goes. Here we go. We're getting okay. chasing a little bit. I love bomb play. I love it. See, Ness feels so safe. I don't know if he can punish it, but like he. Gren Nair or Link? No, Nair. Link's Nair. He'll, he'll Nair your shield until it pokes you. It's almost like a Wolf Nair, but looks of it. I mean, it's no, pretty similar, it's but it's not as fast. I'd say Wolf Wolf's Nair is not as safe, but um, in some. Cases. Nice play with the items. He's doing really well at keeping that um, oppressive item use. That's another thing. Um, that's another thing Nick does. Uh, he will up the out of shoot to um, to punish anything that's unsafe. It's an un and it, and it kill, you have to. You actually have to respect it. And that's the grounded up B, isn't it? The one that doesn't yeah, float the off the floor. Up yeah. Keeping that bomb out of sight. That's a good way to get it out. Just kick it. I mean, it's more of a soccer ball. Brad getting him off stage. How's he going to pressure this? That could have been tight if he Ooh. comboed off the platform. Bit of dancing Ooh, around. catch on the jump. Yeah, called it out. Something clanged up there. I didn't see what it was. Ooh, nice he counter. He knew that coming. He saw that was coming. Okay, this is losers. I didn't even pay attention. Apologies for my shoddy work. Where is it? It's uh, just a bad thing. So yeah, this is losing bracket. And very good catch in that unsafe up B. I don't know if Taco intended for that to go up the ledge, but he got punished rather effectively. He caught he caught the old chop suey, he did. Caught the old chop suey to the face. Into the face. Tortamaran, what is this? Good stage. Uh, where, what, what was it? I, didn't I don't. I don't remember where all the stages are. 
So okay. we've got Taicho taking game one. This would be a BO5, wouldn't it? I, no. No, this is still a best of three, I believe. Best of three? Excuse this me. This is top five losers bracket. Losers. It's the losers? Mm hmm. The losers bracket. It's, yeah. <laughs> That's like that SpongeBob guy is like, losers bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes later. Later. Oh, so Alright. On to Kalos. On to game two. So this is a, this is a good pick for, for me. So Taicho is showcasing his cool under fire technique. He's just staying safe most of the time, but covers the jump with the upper. Link is racking up damage. They're just it's neck and neck, it's hit for hit here. I love this music though. Yeah, it's a really good thing that we've got um that Pokemon stage is illegal in this. Oh. So we have access to such a sick soundtrack. I'm so happy. So happy. Actually, some hype music. As a Pokemon myself, I love it. You nerd. You noid. Okay, so Taicho going for that little bit of a jab I'm gonna, with that down tilt. Okay, me is going to jump off. I'm going to play some friendlies. I'm going to leave you with the stab, old Stabby DJ. No worries. Pleasure to see you, Atos. Right, so Taco throwing out that up B. Will that be the end of the stock? Not quite yet. Hello, hello. Hey, hey. I'm still in. I'm still in, but I need the practice all I can get. Okay. Downfall is very own Taicho. The, the, best, the best downfall player. He plays. I don't even know what downfall is. That's a, <laughs> it's a, the sponsor. Me and Taicho's team. Oh, sweet. Yeah. That's cool. Excuse me. I, I know what downfall is now. That's all right. Now you know. Now I know. Now you know. So we've got game one going to Taich. Uh, just a feel you win. And it's been, it's been hit for hit, I'd say. Yeah. I mean, Nick. Nick's uh, Link is... You cannot sleep on this character. Not at all. He's, his Link is very good. So far from what I've been seeing, the only thing that Taiko's been able to punish is the uppies. Yeah. Taiko's yeah. uppies, if uh, it didn't connect, it's really punishable. He's trying to do it out of shield. So sometimes yeah. it like kind of misclicks to me. Yeah. That's a kill. Taicho showcase in the lab. The old lab. As well as and Nick has hit the lab quite hard as well. He doesn't play online. He always like tries to get people to come over to his house to play games. That's a really good ethic, and I think I should start doing that because quick play is it's not terrible. helping. No, I try to avoid it. Uh, if anything, I've like ever since the last tournament, the Uni SA tournament, I went back to online, and I'm like, wow, I'm playing so bad in comparison to how I did when I'm not playing online. online. Yeah, I'm not. yeah, it's um, whoop, there's a punish. Yeah, nah, not a big fan of the online. If anything, it just raises the blood pressure. Yeah. All right. Well, not out of the woods yet for Nick. Nick can just, uh, you know, one little bomb here. Yeah. But, oh, wow. That was a tipper. That was it. Ninja is really light, and Link has got a good damage output, so he can easily bring this back. But it is looking, it is looking easy. I mean, if he... Oh, RP? Yeah, he held That'll down. Do it. That That'll was really good. I mean, he can do some shenanigans off stage with up here, so he can like die at 30 with some silly stuff. That seemed almost like uh, what Shulk does when they follow you down to get that up B to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Seems very I know similar. The up B, like the aerial up B, scoops you so hard, if you're not ready for it, you would just like get hit off stage. Get that scoop. It, yeah, yeah. Look at this. He's coming back. He's coming back. Yeah, yeah. One, one big swing. That extra swing would have done it. Right, so that's uh, two for Taicho. Greninja wins. Greninja. I always thought the announcer sounded weird with Greninja. Greninja. But then again, Jigglypuff's weird as well. I was like, Jigglypuff? Jigglypuff. I think it's that's always how it's kind of been, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could be wrong about that. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. I love the soundtrack. Just into the Pokemon I stuff, this into the game. A, oh. I thought this was the best of three. Uh, I think Stop it is a... Battle. Wait. Ninja. Patrick, is it the best of three or five? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, game go. three. One, is that, are, we, are we doing like top six, top six again? I'm not sure, but I thought I remembered Atos saying it was the best of three, but I could be wrong. Yeah, well, whatever. Uh, 
Make it a best of foot? Well, yeah, well, my Nike set was best of three, so... I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Hey, man. <laughs> Took it to town in Schnitzel. I'd, I'd be down for a fat Parmigiana right now. That'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. right. Well, if it is a best of five, then uh, Nike's must have DQ. He's not here, so play the boomerang. I don't know. I don't make the rules here. I just fo I just commentate <laughs> and play and do okay. We are just the voices. We are we are disembodied. Mm. <laughs> we are not here. <laughs> but um. Uh, as I said, uh, Greenwich is taking first stop. Taito is taking first stop. Taco. Oh, do it again! Interesting. Oh. Very nice. Oh, he didn't get the bounce. It's a Nick wants to like bounce the bomb like this, like he's bouncing it there. Oh, he let it rip. But um, nice up he had a shield. If he lets the bomb bounce, it can bounce four times, and it's an active hitbox the whole time. Interesting. So if you normal get up, um, like it can dig you out of it. Yeah, yeah. Normal get up, jump. You just get knocked by it, and then if you're ready. If you're ready for it, you can just let the bomb rip and you'll get hit by it. So yeah. That could set up into quite a few kill confirms for sure. Uh, if you follow T, he's a Japanese link. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. He's uh, so got cool. some nutty bomb stuff. So things like you do like single hit back air, bomb drop, into like Nair, bomb throw, into single hit back air. And you just keep doing that. It looks crazy, but yeah. Remember T at Frostbite? Yeah, that's the same guy. He, same yeah, one. he was mental. Yeah, he put Link on the map in Smash 4. He did, he and did. And now did. Link's actually a good character. Ooh. That's what? The punish is there, he was oh, waiting. Wow. He hesitated patience. a bit there. If he just should have picked a direction and went for it. Did the bounce? Yeah, four bounce. Yeah, the get up attack is like one of your options. Because so it just hits the bomb away. Yeah, clean, easy. Clean and easy. This is Taichu's not Taichu. Taichu's known for that uh, consistency with the kills, with the kill confirms. Bomb. Big bomb. The get up attack, yeah. Can't be throwing up F smashes, especially when he's waiting. Oh wow, the up nice was... Snare. Yeah. Kind of stopped him from the, doing the up there. Oh, up. Yeah, nice. Confirms. Nice. Taco setting out those really fast nares to cover his movement. I'm surprised you can go for up You can also do up out of uh, close boomerang as well. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that connects together, does it? Mm. Yeah, down tilt as well. Same kind of deal. Taito getting that bomb Ooh. out of the way. Yep. Doesn't want to cause Free any damage. Oh, back in. He tried, he tried. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's that um, smash attack getting punished. Uh, and that's how we lost last game, so we've got to be really careful about that. I think the one thing Nick does, um, he goes for the read, but he goes for, like, the punish. If you, he like... goes for the hard reads. Yeah, the hard, hard reads. The hard punishes, excuse me, yeah. So, I mean... I mean, if he kind of, like, made it in such a way that he went for safer, like, punishes, like, even if you, like from a text situation goes for like a boomerang even if they roll in you might be able to get something you know something just like quicker yeah 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 just something a little that might be it yeah that's yeah, it and that's it 3-0 that's a 3-0 and I think Brad. are we going to do winners finals I think we're going to do winners finals so, first yeah because Brad will have to play again so we got a Q and blue Q blue Q blue Q blue a blue Q you say Q and blue. We enter winners finals, boys. Yes, this is uh, to the winner of this secures at least a second place. So this is where you want to be, really. Absolutely. And, and you are you are on the winner's side of bracket. So I have. It is a it is a clean. I have no way how to change this camera, but it's cool. I, I don't. You got it? Did you save everything? Yeah, yeah, everything's saved in. I oh, don't know, no, you mean... Oh, we've got to save the names now. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I yeah. saved in the winners' wait, wait, I'll, I'll change the screen. There you go. Now yo, put yo! In, how put are we in, doing, put in boys? The thing. You're, you're on that side. Okay. <laughs> you're doing this. Oh, do wait. your job. Wait, what do I have to do? I have to put in us. Yeah, no, you don't have to put in us. No, 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 just them. Okay, player one. Oh, wait, you erased everything. I see what you did. Yeah, 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 I erased everything. I see put what in, you did Put there. in the people. Boy. So, uh, blue. Blue, SSBU, and... Who's that? Huh? Yeah. What? What's his name again? Two. The other guy playing blue. Blue and Q. And Q. Is that? Oh, up is down. Q. Yeah, yeah. 
Sweet, up is down. Uh, we should be expecting uh, a Samus no from up is down no, and no from is. Blue, perhaps an yeah. Ike. But we'll see. Blue has got Donkey Kong as well. Sweet. Gonna see some Donkey Kong action, people. Donkey Kong. I don't know. And try. I don't. No one told me. No one told me. Dang. There we go. Uh, can we change the camera? Yeah. <laughs> can we do that again? Yo, yeah. Sweet. We are on it. Yep, Good timing. I just, I just to swap him. Yeah, just swap him. Shoop. And uh, I believe it's uh, Blue going Ike and Q going uh, DK. So just switch the uh, yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah. Switch that. But that was my B. Q using my uh, DK color. I don't, I don't approve. You don't approve of it? I mean, it's the best DK color, so I don't blame it. Yeah, I love the yellow tie. That's my favorite. I mean, I think the problem was in... I used this color in Smash 4 as well. I think the only problem in Smash 4 was... Oh my god, he's clean! Oh, getting him with the thigh clap. Yeah. Um, he was like the online fiend. He uh, got everyone to to uh, elite mode and then he just doesn't play online anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I used to play against this guy in For Glory. I actually never met him in person. He used to be my just bane of my existence. Q was just, he's really good at reading your patterns and predicting what you're about to do. Yeah. And he would be like, all right, if that character's not working, you can swap it up. Q's a bit like that. He... Oh my god. He definitely is a bit of an all-rounder. You never know what he's going to pull out of that bag of his. Yeah. He's covering all the options that uh, Blue wants to go for. Nice. I mean, he needs this. Uh, he can go for like a like an Ike Suicide, and he can even this out. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That isn't the worst idea I've ever heard. I would do it. Because that's a, that's a very crumb kind of strategy as well. Yeah, that clap is looking just as scary as ever, and that's going to be stuck to... No. Nope. He, he, he could have gone for down throw. If he goes for cargo throw, down throw, and like falls down further and goes down throw, there's no way I can recover. Yeah. So, unless uh, Patrick is not uh, mashing. Um, yeah. That's a... Nope. Nope. It's good DI by uh, Blue, because any other DI would have killed him. That recovery wow. and getting punished. There you go. Back throw. Is that going to do it? There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is the yeet. Deleted. That yeah. was from his hands to the blast zone. I didn't see any eye. The slam it. dunk. That was the uh, that's the NBA uh, slam dunk competition in DK1. Oh, absolutely. He got the 10. <laughs> we, we out here slamming. Yep. DK. Ding dong. He tries to actually do the, the, uh, the new ding dong. I haven't seen it utilized a lot, but it is a thing. It is a thing? Okay. Yeah, so uh, the new ding dong is... If you uh, full hop, like we cargo throw, and you full hop, and as you're about to land on the platform, you up throw, so then your other platform helps you get that extra and jump. Yeah, kill. so then you've landed, and then you yes. do full hop, double double jump up air. I see, I see, so that platform helps you cancel out. Yeah. So, this is looking uh, pretty stressful for Blue right now. Um, but oh. he could net this stock and bring it back with a bit of damage. I think the idea is to make sure that Donkey Kong is being pressured, and that you don't give him free reign. Yeah, but the next next anything is gonna except for soft hits. Yeah. The slap. The slap battle. It is a slap battle. <laughs> uh, it's back and forth. Yeah. That's um, I mean, um Like you didn't even use neutral B, like the donkey punch. He didn't charge it. No, he didn't charge that donkey punch. But that is the first game going to Q. Q for you. You can just do is it this one. You can do that one too. What, what are you? It's what are you all the there? it's all the F one. Just like the from F, all the F's. Yeah, F eight to onwards. Any nice. of don't do any of those. But yeah. I see. I see. You can do plays as look well. Look at that player yeah, cap. Beautiful. Players. Look at look at their beautiful faces. Their hair is immaculate. They yeah. could do Pantene commercials. They could. The blue can for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he just got out of work, so he's dressed. He's dressed for the occasion. They're looking great. Might I say? We've got we've got a beautiful little uh, beautiful back. Little state. Oh, he's gone Palu. I, oh. I approve because Palu against big characters is just a hard time. And Palu can, yeah, just zone him out with a, a what is it, explosive flame. Yeah. Oh, they're going Mega Man stage? Heck. Oh. Interesting. Do any of them have wall jumps? I don't think Palu has a wall jump. No. Um, neither of them do. So, no. But you can tech. It's all about like tech, teching and everything. So there is that avenue now. Palu's going to definitely be a bit more abusive than Ike, in this sense, I think. 
Yeah, he's just waiting for him to swing. Yeah, right he's now. waiting for something to fight. Oh, something wrong. No, what? Is this a stalemate? I think... No, wait. wait something's wrong. Is there a problem? They're no. talking. They are having a chat. I think... I no, think... I think we Might be a button issue. What's up, boys? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. They went to the Omega stage. They didn't go to the uh, FD version of that stage. I wonder how they figured that out. They just kind of no, because sat there I think for a because moment. there's walls. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh, so it's because meant to be the curvature underneath. Mm, I yeah. see, I see, I see. They went to regular Mega Man, which is uh, another thing. No. So you got Palu Fiver and we've got our old DK coming yeah, out. Yeah, they're, they're just checking it. They're going to go <laughs> Snake Man stage. Don't want to be sure. Snake Man stage? Is that what it's called? I don't know, no, that's the song. Ah. But yeah, there was as soon as I saw Walls, we should have it should have clicked for both of them. That <laughs> that wasn't FD. And we even commented on it. We're like, who can wall jump on this thing? And they were like, yeah. Alright, uh, here we go. Look at it. It's much smaller now. Game two, let's yeah. go. Much, much go smaller. Hey, touch. Oh, we got... Hello, Bradley. Hey, how's it going? We're here. We are here. Yeah. Back here. Oh, oh he's, he's done. He's actually disgusting. Dude. Easiest character in the game. So, Palo, known heavy counterpick, extremely strong against basically any big body. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Patrick's been playing this character for exactly... Oh, for that reason. Five days, I think, <laughs> for that exact reason. Ah, E. We oh. have, we have absolutely become. We've we've gone back to being the Pally state with Ghost playing him to prove a point. Yeah. And now Patrick Ooh. also picking him up to combat the heavies that he clearly isn't a fan of. But he uh, likes heavies, but he just can't. He can't. He can't play against them. Well, can't. yeah, like um, ah, he just struggles there? against heavies for no apparent reason. I don't get it. <laughs> Oh my god. TK's freaking expressions were Oh, he got clipped as well. Ugh. Oh, oh back here. Oh no. And uh, and just like uh, really like huge hitboxes. Oh, oh my he's, goodness. He's dead. He's nuts. He's dead. Give him about 80 seconds and uh, you can see a DK get eviscerated. Uh, maybe he should uh, play Palutena. Ugh. Maybe he should... Uh, I think he missed his calling when the game first came out. Should have played Palatina day one, not a uh, Ike. Ike bold. Ike's stupid, bro. I know. Ike I hate that stupid. character. <laughs> I know. You get Ned, especially when Greninja doesn't have an out of shield option to deal with. I have it. no out of shield option. He outspaces me in the air. He anti airs yeah. me for free with Nair. Stop the battle. Huh? It's, it's me, Brad, uh, and then losers finals, and then Grants. Yep. It's this one, two losers, and grands. Okay, we got the same. See, this is... Uh, this is easily... I mean, this is probably why Patrick didn't go Palace to start off with. Is because... Q has a million counter picks for any character. Uh, so he's going to pick and choose a matchup he feels more comfortable at basically any point in the set. But is Palo Samus that bad? Oh, no. Palo Samus is probably still... I mean, it's a mid-tier versus top-tier. Like, of course it's going to be better Ooh. for... Um, ah. Or a positive matchup for Palo. But... <laughs> it's going to be so much better for Q than DK was. Yeah, so that's guaranteed. Sure. Yeah. And... If not, he has Inkling, who's also a good matchup, who's actually a good matchup versus Palo. Yeah. Like, all the Palos say that that's, like, the second hardest matchup. So, like, Patrick's, I mean, maybe it'll still be fine, but Patrick's one week old Palo might not contest his non-heavy characters. Yeah. So not such a strictly positive matchup. Oh. Uh, that was an ambitious up out of shield. Oh, my He's God, Patrick has gone all the way out for it. He wanted it, I wanted it, the stream wanted it. Everyone wanted forward air. What uh -huh. is this calling? Oh my goodness, spot dodges the grab. Oh, I'll do oh. it again. It's invincible. You... Oh. You cannot be challenged. Uh, yeah, let's just... Throw it. 
Yeah, Palatina is the shield hero. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Shield villain, I'm calling yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> she's a shield villain. Shield. What are you doing? Up! Uh, oh. ah. Yeet! Uh, okay. not yet. Wow. Back throw might have done uh, it. Nice spot though. Oh, yeet. There it is. The hot up air. Yeah, it's a kill throw. Kill throw, 180. You know, 180. 180 is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always have to get it, grab his Samus. It's kind oh of annoying. And he's back air. jump. Ooh. Oh, the drag down up air? That's cheeky. I think you want it back air. It might have, yeah. I wanted to just reflect one of those because he can't do anything about it. He's too, too much. It'd be too laggy, right? Yeah, Surely. I'm pretty sure. Oh, he's okay. He's he's, he's mad gone me. for all of the beans. Like, yeah, uh, Pally is still like uh, vulnerable while she's doing the little blue flash. While that's still there, she can still be hit. So like the teleport, she's not actually invincible until I want to say frame nine. So you can chase it down there and still knock her while the teleports in startup. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't the worst idea in the world to make a quick comeback. Ooh. Read the jump uh, by Palu too quick. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, flame him. Camp. And right. Oh, where's the other one? Where's the next one? Where's the elusive third distance? Oh, counter? That's a choice. Back here. Not enough. Once. Not enough yet. Wanted to avoid that counter, so that kind of makes sense. Yes. But that was um, really no, no wall jump? Yeah, she does. Well, um, she does. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite sure she does. Oh, nice. That's what you got to do. Oh, good now. Is he too low? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, we're back to an even game. He brought back a big deficit, actually. Patrick's kicking himself. Oh, big shot. Uh, up, 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 up. Oh. Okay. Shoot him again. Yes. Okay. Reset jump. Oh, oh he's, he's dead. dead. He's dead. So that's a bit of unfamiliarity coming out. Yeah. Patrick, I believe. Ants, oh. ants in the pants, I want to call it. Mm. Ants in the pants. There was definitely some insects in his trousers. <laughs> I agree. He got antsy. Oh, we didn't change the uh, stock icon. It's it is Sammy. The classic ants in the pants. That's kind of. I'm definitely using that one for Big Win Champ. Absolutely. He whipped. Right. Uh, just a bit of ants in the pants there. Mm. <laughs> All right. All right, and he's going back to Ike. Back to. See, this is sort of. This is the kind of pick game we sort of expected from these two, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he wanted that mix up so hard. Big side B to start off the match. Yeah, because it auto cancels, but it. Oh, good. He was power. like, "All right, I'll just grab you before you land." Oh, reach the tech away instead of tech in. There you go. But it's, yes, damn Oh, quickest 42%. Wow. Okay, the quick draw, getting him back. Oh my God, wow, the, that was loud. The fire, yeah, the fire that effect is, is so ridiculous. Sick. It sounds cool, I'll give it that. Okay, whiffy grab. Call it a bait. Oh, get him out. He oh. is calling out his aerial movement. Pretty hard, yeah, actually. He doesn't want to use quick draw or up B at all. No, he doesn't want to be in that position too. And Q's always like, all right, see if I can meet you. And oh, there you are. And let me hit you. That hit from far away. Oh my god. Next yeah. near up is going to do it. Yep. Dash attack. Not quite. The old golf swing. Yeah. Oh, no get up attack. Yeah. Oh, nice quick draw. Great coverage. Yeah. Woo. Ooh, good now. I think he's dead. Yep, yeah. nothing he can do. Great nair. Really but good. I, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> Back it, yeah. Late hit dash Ooh. tag. Oh, full tilt grab? Why are you air Reading dodging? the defensive options so effectively. Okay, full throw. Yeah. Kick him. Yeah, but... Doesn't have the timing. Not today. Oh! oh I don't even know if he dropped shield. That could have poked. Who knows? Who knows? This character is silly. He swing. Okay, jump over those ones. Yeah, side to be the classic. Do it again. I gotta say, trying to read Blue's recoveries on, like, with his tight on the side B and when he wants to do it, he mixes it up so well for a character with such a linear recovery. But Q's reacting to all those. He's reacting to like he's got a good 50% sort of hit rate on covering them. Ooh, reading jumps, but he's not getting them. 
Ah. Oh, he actually bounced off the, the platform. Yeah, I was actually kind of faking a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, dash attack. Another right quick draw. <laughs> Ooh, that time goes straight at him. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep, that is not true. <laughs> jab one into jab two, not a thing. Okay. Uh, Ooh, okay. dash attack's gonna take it. Nice. Okay. One stock away for Q to be solidifying himself in grand. Oh. Up air? Yeah. Forward. Patrick is just sort of desperate to get back in. Hey! Rolling in a lot. Okay, up Oh, my goodness. Back throw? Yeah. Send him off. Send I him off. I think he's scared to be off stage, to be honest. He's, he's worried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great coverage. Oh, he shot him. Woo! the dash away. Oh, oh quick draw. Quick Coming draw. in hot. So hard to cover that move sometimes, I swear. Oh, good F2. He's still in it. Oh, geez. Sneezing up a storm. A storm? A storm. It's intense, I know. Oh, jeez. Up, up air, up air. Two up, up air. Up air him again. Missiles. Good job. Oh. Down a bit. Whoa, that was a bit weird. I think you let go too early. Yeah, might have. Woo! Good wait. Good patience. Ah, jab him. Doesn't catch the get up. Come on, Ike. You've killed a god. You can kill some space warrior. Yeah, down there. I don't know about that one, friend. Oh. Ah. Uh, that was a weird hitbox. Hey. Oh, he's been kicked. Yeah. Good and Q stuff. takes the game. All right, we got to play. 3-0. Oh, 3-1, oh, sorry, to Q. Mm. Sam is just looking ridiculous. Yeah. Like, he is just... She. Q. I'm oh, referring Q. to Q. Oh, Q. Oh, Q, sorry. He is just looking so strong with yeah. Samus today. Yeah, he's looking all right. Don't know why he's picking other characters. I don't know. It's like Patrick's going to be joining the commentary <laughs> to commentate our set. Thanks, buddy. We love you. Right, coming up is uh, oh shit, loses phone, damn. Crazy. Joining me on comms is the man who just beat me. Ah, terrible. How's this happening? Yeah, oh, whoops. That's uh, oh god, that's better. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lift my feet and then. Yeah, works. Okay, we're 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 in business. Start the battle. Q and Hello. blue. Hello, Pokemon trainer. Classic Pokemon trainer. Oh yeah, pick. right. I I put in the Greninja stock icon because yeah. it's like, oh, he's only played Greninja, but yeah, the Ivy specific PT. He really Greninja. likes his Razor Leaf in this matchup. Oh, we're gonna see a lot of lot of press and B. A lot of B. This, a lot of a lot of lot of B button coming up right now, Three, live. One, uh, okay, everything's go. on the right side. We're in business. Start yeah. the Squirtle. Um, it's like Squirtle get 40% switch to Ivy. That's the game. Down throw, okay. Goes for, goes for a read. Which I mean, there's no harm doing. But, like, Jacob's already set up a base. He got the C4 down, he got the five grenades. He's, uh, the Ivy's out. Now come the leaves. Yeah, Brad's gonna get a lot of throw combos in, in this matchup. But, ooh, Jacob's grenade kind of working against him there. Feels high. But uh, Taichi kind of not not really like committing hard to catching that lane. Ooh, a little out of the confirm range, or Brad messed up. I don't know what the range is on that. It's pretty it's pretty bonkers at least. Rain's working against Jacob there, but oh, that's that almost could have been up there. I feel it was real close. Yeah. When the razor leaf connected. Down. This is a tech chase. Oh, that's damage. Oh my God, he's dead! What the heck? 
Dead at 90. That not, that's crazy. This character's broken as hell. I guess he's got like max rage, but that was like way earlier than I thought it would. Pretty sure Brad DI'd that good as well. Yeah. Weak throw. Oh, uh, can he? Oh, nice, nice. Okay. I thought maybe he'd go for something grandy and try to like fly off the top, but no, I just wait for the air dodge and I guess all of Charizard's moves kill that. Pretty much. Oh, now he's okay. Jacob's catching the the roll, the down throw habits. Oh my god. Brad not playing, where's the C4? And just getting exploded for it. And surely you could just go I'd the whole time. Yeah. Razor Leaf seems like it shuts down Snake pretty hard. I haven't like I haven't Spurs really seen seem to have that much. Because like he still has to get three grenades. Yeah, I haven't seen the Squirtle do all that much, like, you know, yet. Right. Yeah. And, and I mean Brad switched the Squirtle to Ivy at like 30 now, which is way earlier than he normally does, so maybe he's yeah. committing to that. But. What makes Razor Leaf so good? I don't actually like understand what he's doing. Dish. Yeah, what makes Razor Leaf so good in this matchup? I don't it actually It blows up like the grenades it. straight through Snake's oh, shield, okay. I'm pretty sure. So you can just lock Snake down in the corner. And yeah. He tries to pull a grenade, he'll get hit by oh, both. Oh, Brad stuck, and, uh, stuck Charizard. A flare blitz coming through. Yeah, catching Jacob being a bit uh, sleeping on the grenade pulls there. But yeah, switching to Ivy to get the kill, which makes sense. But oof, Jacob just kind of going in there with the down air. Works out. Uh, oh, landing up air. Looking like Smash 4 Cloud here. That's going to be a... Uh, not going for the down throw over there, which is like interesting, I thought. Because he had the C4 in the right place. He could have like tech chased, got like an up tilt or something. But I mean, uh, he's, Brad's firmly an up tilt kill percent right now. So he's going to have to play this pretty sneakily. Oh, this is losers finals. This is losers semis. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Jacko. Whoops. And that is a nice parry by uh, young, yeah. young Jacob. Right, right on the money. Brad kind of, yeah, going in a bit bit hard there with the Ivy aerials, which aren't all that great, really. Like, I don't know yeah. if forward, I can only see forward air and do it, like back air really doing all that much. Straight back to town. Stock battle. What's the other loser semi That's already. Oh, wait, other loser semi I'm a loser semi What am I? I'm a, I'm a dumbass. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's just one. I can't remember how <laughs> brackets work. I'm semis, that means there's two of them. Yeah, there are three semis in a tournament. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the deal One, with semi-finals? Yeah. <laughs> three starting halves of a hole. Starting with the Ivy Sword this time. Which oh is. yeah, good good observation. And oh yeah, like Snake famously kind of has trouble landing, like especially against Ivy and his like big oppressive aerials. But Jacob's gonna opt to count the platform a bit, retreat to ledge. Like, brave them to. That works out. Oh, yeah, okay, so, like, ooh. Ooh! Good, good catch. You never kill Snake at, like, at, like, 100. That's crazy. But, yeah, he caught him coming down with, uh, with the up air, so. Another aggressive landing with the Ivy aerials. And that's gonna be big damage, 50%. Okay, boots. And that is oh, a nice, nice razor leaf confirm. Brad just kind of shut, shutting down you know, Jacob in the corner here. Snake not great at like forcing his way back on stage. Oh, what the heck? I don't know if like the, he c fought himself or if he just got up there. I mean, he just got up there already. Is that the No, he c fought himself, I think. Oh. Yeah, it looked like an explosion. Yeah. Brad running away with this one. What the heck? He like had a little mindfulness moment in between games one and two. And now he's like, oh, just play Ivy Saw. Maybe, yeah. maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe that was the that was the realization. Back at a up B. Jacob, Jacob's kind of gonna have to have a bit of a think after this one. Oh, and the razor leaf to like stop the the missile back in. That's uh, that's some smart gameplay. Nice up too. He's got a long road to walk, especially when he's at like kill percent for most up back through. Could have F tilted him there actually, got the sweet spot, but oh yeah. Big up there. Uh, fantastic work catching all the landings there. That is uh, that's one out. Pokemon trainer! You all did great! You all did great! God, it's the worst <laughs> voice. 
Yeah. Is I it better or worse than male Corrins? Ooh. That's the real question. Ooh. <laughs> I gotta think about that one. I think male Corrins like still worse. I, think. I win! Yeah. Mm, it's like, uh, it's like nasal. But he doesn't say Stop that much. Pokemon like, Pokemon not that I remember. One of, one of three. Yeah. Yes. Whereas Pokemon Train is a lot more vocal, right? It's like, yeah. Go, Charizard! I choose you! You know. Well, Razor Leaf! I don't know if he actually said But then that. you can hear Corrin when he gets hit. Because you hear the Pokemon cries when they get hit. True. No, actually, that's. So, yeah, two two good reasons for maybe switching the audio to Japanese. <laughs> Although I don't know if you can do that without switching the whole game to Japanese. Do you, do you have any idea? Uh, no idea. I assume no Japanese idea. comments are better, right? Like you gotta you gotta assume. I mean, some of them I don't like. There's, there's all like, being subs versus dubs, but then sometimes you just gotta like. Like uh, I'm not a fan of Jigglypuff in Japanese. Not at all. Yeah, it's yeah. A bit, it's a Sasha. A bit too high pitched for me. But like. Ivysaur has a pretty girl voice. Oh my god, nice crouch, but Yeah, Ivysaur sounds better. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So what if Snake has a different Japanese voice actor? Because like he does in Japan, but like he's also very well known, like the English voice actor very well known. So anyway, questions for another time, I guess. Ooh, almost snipes him in the C4. Brad wisely gets out of the way. Man, it's really hard to see the C4 on like this stage. Well, the stage is pretty wide, so if, you, if you've got the right angle for the camera... You just just when he like drops it from high and it's yeah. like going through the black background. Great raising the abuse of the game. Jacob's kind of having like a hard time finishing stocks here, which is like... Uncommon for Snake, honestly. Yeah. The first game we got those like juicy locus and up tilts. Not sure about uh, that. Possibly in the simple. I predict whoever loses their stock is immediately gonna like kill the other person without taking any damage. Alright. It's gonna like drop it's down a forward arrow or something. Or up throw. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, Jacob's that. DI killing my. Oh, it doesn't matter, he's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah they were both at that percent where it's like you get knocked into disadvantage and that's the stuff. Yeah. Switch over Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle bad. Unless you can get like a. Oh, we got a grab. But he messed up the combo and he picked it back up. He dropped it again. Tragic. One aerial makes up the difference. Mm. Oh, brave, like, kind of kind of ballsy by Jacob going back on stage. Yeah, though. I wonder if he could have just water gunned it. Yeah, maybe. Because he was facing away from the stage, so he didn't snap. Do you know if water gun has any effect on the cypher, like, while he's hanging on to it? Uh, I just don't know. I don't know. It probably pushes I gotta, the I just start writing down these, like, these yeah. snake questions. <laughs> I guess, because like, Jacob knows the answer to all of them, I'm sure. He probably does. Those snake players are. Uh, Okay to breed. Ooh, nice back up. Covers the cross off. Yeah. Yes! Can't land aggressively on this man. That's he's like five for five with killing Jacob while he's trying to like land for coming high. Yeah. This up air just covers the reverses. Yeah, yeah, it so. does. Momentum's irrelevant. It cut, like, and it beats all of Snake's landing hitboxes as well. Yeah. Just much outrageous. I guess Jacob could try going low, but then he'd probably just get like down end, right? I think that's how that works. Yeah, you got a kill with the right. weak hit at like 110? Okay, you get a back throw, back hit? No. <laughs> Always want to see that. Yeah, it looks cool. Back throw flare blitz. <laughs> Not a good stop lead. Yeah, it's, it's. That'd be. I mean. If he's behind, then. He'd be a hero if he did it. That'd be the coolest yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> maybe. maybe. No, oh my god! Converse. Great the but Jake, boy. Yeah. yeah, but he's going high. Air dodge? Okay, that works out that time. Yeah, Jacob's not even tr Oh my oh. god! Nice catch! Kick. Kinda kinda steals that one from under him right there. Yeah. He's only at like 50%. Mm. I imagine actually I think Brad shows that stage. I'm like, oh, Lila. Yeah. Brad doesn't go Lila, what the heck? Wait, no, hang on. Jacob chose that stage. Yeah. Jacob chose that stage. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, right. That's I wonder if we'll see a Greninja. Definitely see a Lilat Band. Pokemon Trainer. Snake. Snake Trainer. Yeah. Always been Lilat against Snake, apparently. Yeah, so like, it looks like Taisha just kind of poked his head up above the ledge there, trying to recover. Like, because they're sloped down. He's got, got the boots for it. I mean, I could see him banning, like, Smashville and PS2 against Snake. Yeah, yeah. The good, I the good Ivy stages. I'm not really sure what they are, but like. 
Parries. Nice so parries. Dush, dush. Oh my god, Ooh. the grenade actually like helped him there. Stench. Hel helped Taicho. Yeah. C4 on the ground. It's not often you see snakes having to go in, but I guess that's just how good Razor Leaf is. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, Jacob's actually running at him. Spot dodge. Oh, whoa! Bit dicey. Jacob's fiending an up tilt. You know when he doesn't throw any moves for a while, he's just gonna like... Wouldn't kill yet though. Yeah. 82. The ceiling. Throw that. Throw them leaves. Okay, nice grab. Uh, okay. I, I, I called wrong. I thought it was going to roll away, but nice up to him. Yep, cool. Not really out of shield. Yeah. Had enough time to do it in any case. Ooh, misses the ledge. Going high. Wonder if he'd like edge. Oh, down. Uh, he planks on him instead. I wonder if he'd fly in that situation. It's yeah, surely you could, right? It'd be like a bit risky, yeah. but. I, I guess mean, on a fresh stock, you can. It's like, 0% as well. Yeah. So. yeah. Looks like Len. Ooh, that's Ooh. a. What in the. No punish. Yeah, a bit of, maybe, maybe up smash would have been better there. Yeah. That doesn't jump and. Squirtle's out. Ooh, Squirtle combo. Doosh. Damage. That's, that's a quick Finally 45. Some damage from Squirtle. Yeah. <laughs> quick 45, and now he's going to get punished for uh, using the shell. Oh my god. Sticky. What the. Sticky. That's a combo. Except Jacob kind of comboed himself there, actually. Yeah. He was like a bit too close to the sticky when it went off. That's Barry. Ooh, okay. I'm pushing back. Ooh, so close. Almost the setups. But in any case, he's on the ledge. Doesn't get stretched. Ooh, nice coverage. That kills. Crazy. Wow. wow. I go on high. Plank. No plank. Yeah. I just covering the landings, and that's super key against. Oh, yeah, I see that. Still pretty much dead even. Ooh, god, that was close. Squirt. I just struggling to get off this ledge here. Dush. Dush. Oh my god, explosions. They're both taking a lot of damage, but I think Brad came out worse in that exchange because yeah. he's not a fat boy unless he switches to Charizard, and that has its own host of problems. That's a nice shield grab. Dush. Razor Oh, yeah, okay. I'm uh, not Razor Uh, fine. Oh, God. Oh, just redirect Nikita as well. Does everything. Dush, I got a bit of a lead, but. Oh, he's calling it back. The Nikita missile almost hits him, but. Oh, up tilt doesn't quite do it. I don't know if he got the sour spot or something. A bit too early. Uh, that feels like it would have killed it. Oh, my God. That was so close to them both dying, but. Brad's so scared of getting up tilted. He Whoa, he's mad. Wow, what the heck? timer ran out. Oh my god. Wow. Full coverage of the timer. This character's busted. <laughs> I can't, but you could not. Somebody clip that. You could not plan that if you. <laughs> what the heck? Surely that wasn't he No, there's no way he meant to cover the roll of the right. <laughs> I can't believe he yeah. covered the roll of the right with the timer. What the heck? I guess I'm going to play you, hey. What an end. That is possibly the most annoying way to go <laughs> out with sheer dumb luck <laughs> on Jacob's part. Well, it'll be that way sometimes. How long is the timer anyway on that? 25 seconds. 25. You, yeah, you can't plan 25 <laughs> seconds yeah. in advance that I'm going to put him exactly here. Yeah. <laughs> and have the timing on roll in just so. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and I threw away game <laughs> three as well. Just, ugh. That yeah. Was, that was all bad. I was wondering if, you, if I'd see a um, Greninja since you were down again. Uh, no, I wasn't 2 0 down. I was yeah, 2 it was 1, one down. down. Um, but, I mean, obviously I lost, but that matchup still weighs in and grand. Like, yeah. Just because. Um, Gren doesn't have the hitboxes to really contest basically any of Snake's moves at all. They all come out first and they're all bigger, basically. So Fair like enough. going in is a nightmare. And then um, 
if I try and play it defensively and do a lot of like shurikens and stuff like that, like the it's grenades. okay, but like I get out camped by grenades. Yeah. So like I just there's not a lot I can do. Uh, um, it's play it patiently and try and out camp him, and it's really really annoying. So. I wasn't super keen on the prospect of going green, even if I was losing. Like, Makes sense. I'm still more confident in that matchup. Because I'm just a big fan of character counterpicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I completely understand that. Even if I'm up. <laughs> but yeah, I just wasn't into that. Yeah, it's a loser's finals. Yeah, so... Loser's finals, Patrick, I mean Blue, and Stabby J. Um, I don't think we're going to see Lucina come out from... Blue, he's pretty confident, I think, with his Ike. Um, yeah. Not going to see much different. Uh, Ike does have the hitboxes to actually contest Snake, both in the air and on the ground, because the sword's really big. Very Even though big. Snake's hitboxes are abnormally large for his yeah. limbs, like, you can actually sort of box on with him. Um, plus, his area mobility is decent enough to get through the camp game most of the time. Yeah. Um, and the big range of the sword. Yeah. Get past those grenades. Well, that's if he doesn't set them off himself. Yeah, no, you're going to set off the grenades by swinging at them. So that's yeah. not ideal. Um, yeah. Oh, good Very parry on the down air, but no punish. Pretty sure that move is unsafe even if you don't parry it. So like, yeah. you really uh, didn't need that. Ugh. Not sure about that. Eruption, Eruption. like, you want to start that early if that's what you're going for. Yeah. Like, that's not a reaction sort of move. Uh, yep. Yeah. Everyone drops shield after up tilt because they think they can punish it. It looks slow, but yeah. the shield stun is so ridiculous that. No, you get caught by whatever he wants to do. Um, ugh, down air not connecting. That's Rare. fun. Uh, I mean, depending on his drift, he can yeah. whip it pretty easily. They don't auto link. Like the hitboxes don't feed into each other. They just have like a lot of hits going to. Yeah, I mean they should link, but yeah, it's not that off. Uh, con Sorry, not that rare to fall out of it. Ugh. He's taking some really good trades with the grenade right now. Um, like, as much as it's really annoying, like, if you're ahead, taking trades with grenade is really not a big deal. Like, if you're setting him off in his hand and continuing the damage, like, he's still copping an extra 10. Yeah. Um, your lead extends. When you're behind, yeah, it's a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Because you just want to hit him. Oh, another great dash attack. He's been catching a lot of landings with that lately. Oh, forgot about the grenade. And Not grenade, but, uh, C4. Yeah, had no idea where C4 was. And another dash, dash attack is going to take that game very cleanly for blue. I submit to no one. So Stubby just really wasn't given the opportunity to set up his cam game in that yep. instance. Like, Patrick played it really, uh, blue played it really close to the chest. Um, and yeah, it just uh, couldn't get away from it. Like, too quick. <laughs> Two good hitboxes. To FD. I'm amazed go. Blue did not One, ban this. Go. He has banned this every set of his life for as long as I've known him. He hates FD. And it's a good stage for Snake. Why on earth? I'm so curious as to what he banned. Yeah. He did ban PS2. Then. Well, yeah, if you let him go to a neutral, he wouldn't have banned PS2, which yeah. is another of Snake's best stages. Not that he has bad ones. He's kind of busted. Probably uh, Lila, I suppose. He, he doesn't like that stage much. Yeah, he probably banned Lila, but then his other... I guess his other ban might have been Kalos? I suppose? Um, yeah. Just... Astounded. Yeah. yeah, he's taking his yeah. jump, but didn't cover the. Uh, Ether's usually pretty. 
I mean, probably could have. Depends on the character. Some characters have a really easy time dealing with ether. Others yeah. really do not. Snake's got a big spike, but it's also very slow. So yeah, that's what I was just saying. And it comes in it? from the front where you're gonna get bit by the sword, whereas you really need to come from above ether. Yeah, he caught him with the jabs and locked him in to get hit by the up smash. Yes. Clever setup. Ooh, ah. Could not land. No reverse on the grenades, I guess. Or maybe the reverse just wouldn't have been helpful. Oh, he's a bit low. He's a bit low. Oh, oh he what? makes it. Yeah. Uh, snake air dodge, ridiculous. It's um, it goes really far. He's only vulnerable yeah. for like a frame or two. Yeah. It's very hard to catch him air dodging out of cipher. More down is. Mm, catches him on startup, that's interesting. Just put explosions all over the stage, really trying to discourage Patrick from going in right now. Great parry for no reason, I'm sure. Ooh. Patrick getting a bit overzealous with reading. Um, just went for a big back air that wasn't actually going to hit. And that works on Ike. Yeah, Good to know. True combo. So that combo only works on like half the cast. Yeah. And it's not the even. Fat ones. It's, it's basically the fat ones. <laughs> yeah. And then like a handful of others. And then some of them is only depending on which way they're facing. Oh, okay. It, like, I've heard that some characters, it only works facing left. For some reason, like it's very inconsistent. Yeah. On, yeah. So it's just interesting to know that. Yeah. Okay, it worked in that instance. Yeah. It's getting a lot of grabs. I mean, Snake tends to. He yeah. forces shield a lot of the time, and his grab range is one of the best in the game. At least out of the non-tethers, anyway. But. Yeah. Oh, good read. Yeah. Oh, they still hit oh, him. It chops the Nikita. Okay. Yeah, so there's a weird myth about Nikita where like everyone's like, oh, if you hit it, it it's not active for a second. And yeah. that is kind of true, but if he deactivates his control of Nikita and lets it drop, it becomes yeah. active again. Because you yeah. know how like it's still active when it's falling after he deactivates? Yeah. Yeah, so if it gets hit, you can just deactivate instantly and it's still active. Yeah. So hitting it's not actually effective. <laughs> yeah. This a lot of the time you get the south spot of the Nikita if you do that. Uh, it's, still yeah. better, it's still better than no hit. Well, that's exactly generally. right. <laughs> like, you do yeah. get the south... Well, it's, it's sort the, of sour. It's, basic, it's based yeah. on its speed. So oh, okay. Yeah, while it's doing its slow turning around stuff, it's weak. And then while it's going fast, right. it's strong. And so that's why you get the weak hit, is because you slow it down by hitting it. It's good to know. Um, Two, one, go. But it's still strong. Like, even the weak hit's pretty strong. and. It just says you have to get Nikita again, so... Yeah. Okay, um, Blue actually opting to take him back to PS2. Uh, it's, it's a good stage for I. Yeah, no, it is. Like, the platforms, the platforms where they yeah. are and um, their height and everything help him extend combos really effectively. Yeah. Um, I assume he's opted for this one because Smashville and Lilat were banned. Or Smashville and maybe Town, I don't know. Um, but this is basically like Ike's third best for combo extensions and pressure on the platforms. Um, so even though this is commonly considered a very, very good snake stage, uh, yeah. it's understandable. And he did win on this in the game one. That's true. So it's understandable you'd want to go back. His ledge trapping has been extremely effective. Um, he's I sort of kept him, uh, kept Savvy Jace, kept uh, trapped there for a little while, most of the time. Snake down it, just be Ike up to it. I hate. Oh. That's yep. so gross! <laughs> and it does like 21% on a short hop. Where's the full hop? Uh, oh, s Snake's it down so air. much damage. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Oh, gosh. Um. Yep, res the roll yep. in. Okay. Oh, another down air. Stomp the yard. He is just popping. Oh, he didn't Sick notice it was there. Oh, he's got to be careful of it. 
Okay, putting it on the platform is super useful because it obviously will hit um, Ike below the yeah. platform as well. So it just sort of it effectively sanctions off that section of the stage. It's just not allowed until it goes away. Like you, uh, you just can't go there. You can't go anywhere near it. Oh, he's stuck. And the air is still good enough to get him back on stage. Oh, great smash catch from the air dodge. Dash attack, but straight yeah, the grenade. He had more time. Oh, sorry, less time than he thought. We got an even game. Oh, good parry on the back air. Guess nothing. Like, not really any great out of shield options. It cannot be. It's kind of a risk if you're not sure that's going to connect. Yeah. But it does have armor. Oh, interesting how the that near fair didn't connect. My goodness, they are trading blows. Ooh, good fall through up there. That's really good. I uh, definitely did not want that. Nikita. That was definitely meant to be a beer first yeah. grenade. But the cypher means that. Oh, Can he actually just not get? <laughs> I think Snake's just immune to eruption. <laughs> like he air dodged from so low down, the yeah. cipher hit him. He, I think he actually just can't get hit by it. Yeah. That's busted. Ugh. I think Bad is gonna have to catch on to that pretty quick and uh, start going for more aggressive edge guards, perhaps. Yeah. Good boy. Um. I mean, he's still pretty vulnerable if you're willing to go down to down air. Uh, and I wonder if I can catch Snake at the end of his cipher with my B. Because that could be a... Oh, like hit him from below ledge? Uh, from uh, above, when he's recovering high. Oh, when he's recovering high... Because, um, like, he's in the same spot. You can see where he's It won't go. knock him out of it. Yeah, but I mean, right at the end. Maybe and if the last... I mean, the last hit will probably need... not a great idea, I suppose. Then if I mean, he and if he misses as well, he gets I don't. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Uh, it's just a question. Of, so to knock Snake out of cipher, your move needs to do nine percent or more. Um, yeah. And it can't be like a multi-hit. Like Greninja back air does thirteen in total, but no single hit does nine, so it doesn't break him. Exactly. So it's not even like a threshold of total moves that hits him while he's in cipher. It's yeah. strictly a hit that did nine. Um, yeah, but I was wondering, like, right so, at the end, after, so yeah, if after I the Cypher goes away. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean after he's... Yeah, like, when he's, like, right at the top, right after the Cypher flies off. Because, man, Snake's probably not going to... He's not going to be, like, off stage during that instance. Yeah, though. that's true. He's, if he's, like, up at that high, uh, he's gone on stage. Ooh, actually gets around the key to this time and rolls straight into up smash. High recovery. Not covered. Despite Ike like being platform. quite linear, you can still only really cover one thing at a time versus him. Yeah. Which is yeah. Kind of be oh, that oh, got him! Can't be sleeping, bro. And he lives. He got rid of the rage, so that let him live. Yep. Ah, uh, spot get, neutral get up spot dodge, kind of a risky option with yeah. uh, the switch of snakes. Uh, hitboxes tend to linger, like you're not really likely to get around much with that. So I wonder if it was maybe a miss input or just uh, poorly considered. Oh, gee. Drop shield too early. Dude, I can never tell if he like it's a last minute drop shield or yeah. if people are getting jump. poked. Or poked. jump, maybe, yeah. Because that, admittedly, that would be my instinct. If I hear now or I hear there, then I'm like, ah, jump away from wherever the hell I am. Yeah. I have to fight that instinct to hold shield. Really brave. Carry it. Uh, you see, good. Oh, he caught the nair. He read the get up. Oh, that was a god awesome nope. scream. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, so much damage. 13% on the final can ever Oh my god, there's so much damage. It just racks up so quickly. What a nightmare. Oh, good tomahawk. Five. What is he gonna do? Rolls into the up smash. He's nearly dead. 
Oh, fires two things at once. Oh, great avoidance of the C4 on the come up. Oh, wow, just F2 with his shield knowing he wanted to do something. Oh. oh, he's actually got him. That looked super true. Yeah. All right, three, one to Stubby J. Three games straight with this Buster character. The loser's run continues. Q, right. yes. good luck. Great finals. Oops, my bad. Uh, sorry, that was loser's finals. That was my bad for not switching that. All right, uh, Q. Oh, God, what's that? What do you want? Nothing. Are you love me? Not today. <laughs> this? Oh, that. Oh, they are, yeah. Um, I had them, I loaned them to Nick. Up is, ah, uh, there it is. That up is. Down. So. So. All right. So, Austria's grand finals. I don't have it. You got to talk to Nick. Ugh. All right. Seems like I am solo coming grants. That's fun. Um, so the big question that's going to come out of this is what character is he going to pick? Yoshi. Yoshi, okay. This does make a lot of sense. Um, Q was able to beat Stabby J at the latest tournament with Yoshi. Uh, reverse 3 0 him after going 0 and 2 down. Three, Yoshi. Two, one, go. So let's see what kind of set we got. Uh, so Snake actually. Not necessarily easily able to box with this character. Um, between hitboxes and frame data, Yoshi can actually get into his face and deal a lot of damage. Refuse Snake to set up camp. He goes for a big spike off his edge. He just kept pushing forward on his edge guard and he got it. Not a lot Stevie J could have done to get around that one. Ooh, good power on the man. But. Nothing to eventuate from it. So the other thing you're gonna see, um, Yoshi with quite good out of shield game, with air, up air, and back air, all very effective and very fast. Uh, so he's again not gonna let uh, Stabby J hit his shield too often for free, and he's certainly not gonna let him set up camp. So much of Snake's game. It's going to be pretty well mitigated by the way that Q likes to play this at the very least, and Yoshi's general strengths. Oh, his shield getting mighty low. Great power on the grenade just to protect it a little bit further. It should be fine now, but he's got the next issue of actually getting back to stage, which he is unable to do. Too far away. Oh my goodness, just runs straight into the C4. Oh, he's actually hit him. Big down air, so much damage. Great timing on the grenade. Young Chef. Oh, back air to shield, not gonna work for him. Oh wow, Catch is jumping out of shield with the upset. Such a strong move. Oh, he's going all the way out there, but not able to quite catch him. Good drift back from Savage Air. Oh my goodness, that angle is awful. Good lord. And catch is landing really effectively with down smash. He's chasing him up. Unable to get in for it though. Big man. Actually, 
You got around the back end? That's crazy. Yoshi wins! <laughs> Quick game one for Q and a two stock. Very convincing game one for Q. Okay, so BJ opting for a bit more space in this one. Stop battle. Uh, Snake Yoshi. I guess a bit more room to set up shop, run away from the scary dinosaur. Three, two, one, go! Oh my goodness. Just so much damage. This is 15 seconds and both characters are already past 50. Just the damage output on both these guys' aerials is unreal. I'm loving the aggressive edge guarding from Q. Uh, really preventing Stabby from just doing whatever he wants to go high off stage. Really think about the way he's getting back. Um, but at the same time, He's navigating it, uh, Stabby J is navigating it very effectively. I'm not actually getting edge guard too often since that first stock. Ooh, great air dodge on stage to avoid the Nikita. Z4 not gonna quite make it. Just hitting buttons on people's shield. It's greedy, greedy play. Oh gosh, gets caught by his own grenade bouncing back from the shield. And he pressing just too many buttons for him. Um, Stubby looking to whiff punish a fair, but gets nared in the face for his troubles. One thing I'd like to see perhaps from Stubby is a little bit more patience. Um, he's very eager to try and attack the dinosaur. You don't necessarily want to do that. Um, contrary to popular belief, he can actually be whiff punished. By him pushing, like putting out so many buttons, but he's eager to go in and hit people's shields. And uh, oh gosh, catches the roll in with the odd smash. Really well done. All right, let's see if Stabby Joe will just hang back. You can do that. Yes, good. Just let the Yoshi attack first, and he got scared. Oh gosh. Great avoidance by Stubby J to avoid that edge guard. But he's off stage immediately afterwards. Because he got too close. Yeah. Not a lot he could have done there. Up being from low and that sort of distance, he's got very limited options. Oh good. Alright. He's doing a great job just punishing Stabby's movement at the moment. Calling him out. Catch the spot dodge. Oof. He expected the grenade to go off earlier, that's why he went for the further. Ah, oh, that didn't no. stick him! That's what crazy. is this? Yoshi. Ooh. Oh, great C4. That's what Good I read. love to see. Came at the right time. Uh, Alright, that's good. That's, um... That might be the first game Stabby J has actually taken off Yoshi in tournament. You're kidding. Really? With Snake. Oh, hell yeah. He's beaten Nikes a couple times with Incineroar. Actually, no. I think he beat Nikes with, um, with Snake today. Oh, excellent. He's, he he's beat him today. He's learning then. He's that's, actually... That's great yeah. news. Very happy to hear that. For our boy Jacob. Because, yeah, he um, got reverse 3 0 by Q's Yoshi on Sunday. Yeah. It was that quite was... brutal to watch. Uh, Q just had every read on his movement, edge guarded him very effectively. And that's what y Yoshi really does well, though. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. 57%. Um, makes sense that he's taken back to FD. It was a very convincing game on Q's part when they were at this stage. Great combo with the grenade extension. So clever. Parry to dash attack. Yep, fantastic. That's what you want to see. At least he actually uh, managed to get something between the F2s. 
Good grab. Good oh, read, he had, he but had... he was slow. Yeah. Yeah, th I think he wanted to react, but uh, just the if he was already there, to there. If he was already there reading it, then he just needed to hit the button sooner. Mm. Bit of a fumble, but it's uh, he just has to pick his feet up off the ground and do it again. Yeah, he can do it. Oof, all right, it's that just rage. So strong. It's just rage, Jacob. It's all right. It's all rage. It's all right. Good tilt. Forward tilt. Ooh. Nair out of shield. So, oh my god, oh, he's he gone all the way down deep. and he's living. He went Yoshi deep. can go, and, like, even though he has no real up the recovery, he can go way too deep in this game. I'm oh, surprised. Good though. exit get around the computer. I'm surprised that didn't ban this stage. Well, usually he loves it. Um, I was, yeah. I was under the impression that Snake didn't like this stage. No, <laughs> Snake loves this stage. They hate triplats. <laughs> Well, they're not a huge fan of triplats because, like, they're not great at landing. They're okay at landing. Um, oh, God, just jump with the air. That's a bad situation. Great air dodge to get through. Good awareness by Jacob. And Jacob is just unable to find a kill. 180 is not a percent you want to see a snake. Like, the guy do it with every kill move he wants. Um, yeah, stabby with all the kill moves he wants and he let him live to 180. Oh, attacking the grenade! Yeah. You really got to be more careful about that! And he had the read that time and he got it. Yeah. Exactly. You really got to respect Snake when he's got the grenade and he's holding shield. Yeah! You, you really got to respect it. You got to be willing, like, if you think you're going to hit him with the grenade, fine. Because. At least if you know you're gonna uh, uh, kill himself. He killed himself with it, yeah. Because like, if you know you can extend your combo further, even if you get hit, yeah. Um, then whatever you take it. But like, if you're just hitting a shield, you are just losing 30% because he can down air or nair or up air or back air. Any, just he yeah, can, just any. Uh, he can. That's hit, it. Any aerial. He can basically hit whatever aerial he likes from the so grenade dangerous. just for just for hitting his shield. Uh. Uh, okay. That's if he doesn't just shield grab you. <laughs> like, you just gotta respect his shield all the time, but especially with the mm. Oh, he had the read. I can't believe <laughs> Jacob gave it to him. Like, he absolutely had that read in the bag. Yo, if Stabby wins this, he won from, like, losers. Yeah, because he, he DQ'd out of winners. He was DQ'd out of winners because he Oh, played. he's got him! Yeah, he's DQ'd out of winners because he showed up really late. So it'd be extremely impressive if he continues to make this run. Um, uh, he can do it. He can do it, I believe. He can beat this guy. I mean, if you can beat Nike's Yoshi. Like... Low-key, like, Q's is a little better. Shade. <laughs> I said low key. Low key, okay. Right. I mean, Q just. He's got better mix ups. Like he's a. Uh, he plays the game a bit more defensively in the situations that he needs to, which Nike is not always capable of doing. Um, Q oh my makes... god, that was 52%. You're kidding. Hey. C4 grenade back air, and he's at 52. <laughs> Do you know what? Like, I'm, I'll sit there and play a snake, a play against Stabby, and I don't pick up on the fact that, like, it did that You much don't damage. see the damage. You don't see it. Because you're busy looking at what you're going to do out of disadvantage. You're yeah. not looking at the number that just jumped by fucking 40. Yeah. Like, like the whole point, like, the, the thing you're meant to do is, you know, oh, as soon as an interaction's great. over, yeah, just okay. work out getting back in neutral. But that's, that's exactly right. thing there, that's just... Uh, oh, my God. Hit him with a couple <laughs> legs on his way for his troubles. Ooh, grenade caught him? So, oh, okay, good, good up Good up tilt, yeah. 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 That's what I want to see. Look, down air, grenade, back air, 47. I'm sorry. Three that. things. <laughs>
damage happens so stupid. Do you know what though? That's a lot of characters have like a 50% combo with three hits. He's not the only one, but with Snake, it just happens all it, at once. It happens so quickly and it's and it's not out of like a read or like, you know, an unsafe combo starter. <laughs> it's out of like grenade in shield. <laughs> Oh, that puts, things in that puts things in perspective. That's the difference. Like, yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right. Lots of characters have, you know, 50% combos. I say lots. But it's a shock handful, value. A handful of characters have 50% combos, but... I mean, like... Not fair. out of shield. Oh, back throw. Oh. Sticky C4. Beautiful. All right, he's got a huge lead to chase. He was. He just mashed jab six times on yeah. his shield. Yeah, Jacob, don't go in. Oh don't go my in. You goodness! You don't need to. You nearly got that footer. Yeah, no. I, actually, I don't know if he should go in. No, he because shouldn't. he's got a lead. <laughs> you, yeah, I say that, but like Stevie's attempts at camping him prior to this were not super effective. Like, he's playing with momentum. Like he is playing with momentum. Really see it. So. Oh my god! He, yeah, when he goes for F smash, he's, feel, he's feeling it. He's feeling like he's got the momentum, he's got the read. No snake in their right mind goes for that F smash otherwise. Oh, that didn't cross up oh, like he was expecting. Know. Yep, chases Chase him. him. Yoshi with the amazing mobility to be able to do that. Unable to punish the air dodge, that's actually interesting. Oh, he's read him. Oh, oh get red out the game. Oh, no. Oh, straight into it. We got a game five situation in Grand. So is this um, this hasn't been reset yet. Oh shoot, you're absolutely yeah. correct. Uh, this is Stabby's and pre-reset. Stabby's coming from loser's side, so he will need to take another set if he wants this tournament. But he's got to worry about the next game in front of him first. He's sticking with the Yoshi, even though Q is a fiend for counter picking. He. He'll it's not even he'll count pick, it's, his counter pick is not even based on like his character knowledge. It's just like I'm gonna do this to throw you off. I feel like playing a character. I just feel like having some fun. A lot of the time, yeah. Or I think he doesn't even do it based on character. He does it based on player, like how he thinks yeah. you play. He wants to play a certain character against you. Actually, no, you are very true. I asked him one time when he was playing against me, like because I'd never seen his Smash Four Yoshi before. And he's just, and he's oh, just like I didn't even know I played it. In Smash you know, Raw. you know. No, I'll tell you a story. It's funny. He um, I was I was playing a set against Nikes, and uh, he was in the corner. He must have heard me say, "I said I hate playing Yoshi." I said I hate playing Yoshi. And then I had to play a set against Q. It was the last Smash Four tournament at Evac, I think. Yeah, right. He picks out the Yoshi, and I go and I asked him, "I've never seen this. Why did you play Yoshi?" He goes, "I heard you say you hate Yoshi." Oh, uh, what a guy. <laughs> uh. So I had to do it. Oh, I hate that. And it's just, yeah. wow, all right, cool. Uh, that suits exactly what I thought he does. <laughs> That's a very cute thing. Uh. Anyway, we've, we've skipped this. They're playing yeah, look, neck and neck. It's not much uh, has happened differently to any of the other games. Um, he was throwing out aerials. Not safe aerials on shield and getting away with it. Stabby's failing to land. It's the same FD we've always seen. Ooh, great up to. Amazing catch. Like, Q didn't even land with an aerial or anything. He just sort of empty landed and got... And got punished for got it. Got killed. You have to have oh, a lot of... Uh, you have to be really gutsy to punish an empty landing. I don't know. It feels... Yeah. I think the timing as well is not that easy to do. Ah, oh, that... That was weird that that didn't work, but oh well. I'm quite sure that combo is supposed to work on Yoshi. It's a very inconsistent one. He's got no jump. What does he do? Nothing. He sets up a ledge trap. Okay. Oh, oh no. Ooh, that, oh. oh, don't know about that DI. Ooh, yuck. Yeah. Um, so you are meant to DI that like down because uh, it sends you like straight up. Basically, no, you want to be DIing in just there but, though, when you're when you're that far. But at that percent, you need to know not to do that DI. <laughs> you gotta that's have a, a bit a more bit awareness. Uh, jab lock, down smash, back air, catch the jump. Oh, uh, there's a big lead. Uh, oh, he's no, taking his jump. This is gonna be hard. This is gonna be very hard. Yeah. Uh, he's gone behind him. Dude, I thought. Oh no, he still has no, no this jump. Is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Oh my goodness, oh, he spent the whole stock off stage for one mistake and he's done it! Q takes the tournament. Oh. Good stuff for both players, that was... Uh
Not very good. All right. Convincing win by Q. Yeah, every FD game was just clean. That's what I think, though, with, with Snake. I don't think it's a good stage for him. I don't know. I mean, it's probably matchup dependent. I've seen I'll, I'll I've seen top snakes take people to FD all the time. Yeah. Do you have all your money? Uh, you don't haven't paid. Yeah, so just deduct five from mine. Yeah, no, that's what we're gonna do. Well, well yeah. All right. Anyway, that's the end of our tournament. <laughs> Congratulations to Q and Stabby for second, Patrick in third. Uh, please follow the stream. Uh, hold on. Let me do this. Please follow the stream and any and all the players that you've seen tonight. And Chuck us a follow. Chuck us all a follow. Please, please. And we we'll catch it. you on another day. Catch you later. Peace.